Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Terraria. Uh, where it's about time to start gearing up for... Well, not quite gearing up, but preparing for uh, Duke Fishrun, I think. Before we do fight Duke Fishrun, we're going to need a... Uh, what is it called? Depth meter, which we still haven't picked up. Oh, that's a diamond bunny. We just put this pistol away. I didn't notice a while ago. Um, it's actually... It's actually automatic now, which is nice. Although the fastest you can fire it is has definitely been nerfed. Um, so the place that we're going to find our depth meter was around about here somewhere. Um, maybe I should make a teleporter to get up there. Hmm. It's not that far, but on the other hand, maybe we could save some time. Especially if I end up having to go back and forth. I do have 39 potions of return, though, so it's probably fine. Did a little fishing. Alright, let's jump over to the snow biome. Uh, where I forgot that everything's closed in. Fantastic. Got a couple of minions out. Did finally get a minecart. And we want to head over into this, uh, I, I almost called it the sand biome, which is not inaccurate, uh, into the desert and then straight up this way. I think I'll make a little hole to go through there. Actually, this might be easier. We don't have to go through the desert at all. Let's grab that life crystal while we're at it. Whoops. Fantastic. That is a trap we have not yet disarmed. There we go. Oh, and there's a house. Convenient. Um, nothing new in it, though. I'd be very surprised if there was something new in it at this point. Hey, damsel. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, did you figure out that back wall thing? The, uh, the walls that couldn't be exploded? Guess what? Um, something about those walls, perhaps? Hey, I am the sky. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Um, let's grab this, uh, dead man's. Oh, there's water. Okay, then. First of all, we're going to cut away all of this wire. And I don't think I'll even bother picking up the other stuff. We get a danger sense potion. That's not bad. I did figure those out. Had to go from an edge, but... Beat Skeleton Man. Nice, nice. So now you've got the, uh, the dungeon. Uh, do I have any bombs on me? I do. Whoops. That was suboptimal. Let me through. Fantastic. Get out of here, worm. Oh, it's a big one. Okay. Okay. I need to... I need to live. There we go. OP desert worm. Very scary. Uh, let's grab some regen. Iron skin. Light. Um, I'm not going to burn a hunter potion right now. Uh, and bacon. It's a bit of a chore to get, um, but it is... I'm pretty sure it's, like, the only option now for major food buffs. Uh, it does last 24 minutes. We just have to pour a whole bunch of money into... 
uh, what is it called? Pink Ronatas. And then we do get a bunch of that money back, but we also get a bunch of bacon as well. Can't open any chests in there. Oh, you need golden keys. They drop from some of the enemies. Do I need to mine this at this point? I don't think so. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Give it, give it. Yes, truffle worms. Fantastic. Uh, I'd like to have, like, 10 to 20 truffle worms before we try fighting Duke Fish Run. Because I'm sure it will take a few attempts, especially with the black sky that kills you if you go too high. Although, going too high, uh, going all the way up to space when you fight Duke Fish Run the way I do, is actually pretty bad. Um, so it should be avoided anyway. So I guess it's not going to be that different. Um, but I really... Since we've got no points of reference for how high we are, I really do need the depth meter before we start. And that can be found around here somewhere. Still can't find an aglet? Yeah, that is rough. I used... I don't know if it was just luck, but like... I could have sworn aglets used to be easier to find. But it's always something. It's always like one thing or another that you can't quite get to get the Terra Spark boots. Hmm, I can't use my mount here because there's rail in the way. Give me your depth meter. Nope, never mind. Uh, I might want to get that lava out of the way because... I don't know. I'm not sure if a depth meter would actually... Uh, would actually be destroyed by the lava. But we want all the loot that we can get if we're going to take the time to kill enemies over here. Lava absorbent sponge go burr. Fantastic. Uh, actually, the thin lava can stay because it'll just... It, it won't destroy items. I should put up a what is a water candle as well. Let's grab ourselves a workbench and a candle. Where did I stash my candles? Uh oh. I usually keep them in. Um in one of these containers, but uh, looks like maybe not this time. I don't want to have to teleport back to get the candle. Uh... Oh yeah, and we got the, uh, what's it called? Superheated blood. Best mount in the game. I can't even get up there. <laughs> okay. Um, on land, it's not so good, but in lava, it is slightly better. Oh, it's still... The, I, I thought the lava didn't hurt you with the superheated blood. It's actually just like seven seconds, like everything else. Hmm... Or I wonder if this, uh, if this seed has anything to do with it, because lava is a lot nastier in this seed. Okay, worms, go away. There we go. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Uh, I don't really want to waste... A heal on this. Not for a heal that we have to farm. Um, what was I about to put down here? Oh yeah, the banner. 
we picked up a giant bat banner, which is actually kind of decent. Oh, 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 I didn't see it. Nope. Black slime. Nasty. Okay. Not actually that threatening. But considering I wasn't even looking. nothing but giant bats. I think the bats can give us what we're looking for though, so I suppose that's okay. Is that armor? It is not. What's the plan for Terraria today? Uh, the plan is gear up so that we can fight uh, Duke Fishron. And something I normally wouldn't strictly need, uh, we're trying to farm for right now which is a depth meter because I need to know what my altitude is up here so I don't hit the top and just instantly die. Like, literally, that's not... It's not that we're going to get cornered like normal with Duke Fisher on. If we hit the top of the map, we just die instantly. And uh, it's always night, it's always dark up there, there's no there's no points of reference. So if we're going to do it without some kind of arena, uh, and that said, an arena would be rather difficult to build right now if we tried to, like, put blocks at the top of the sky or something. Um, yeah, it's going to have to be the depth meter. Should I teleport back? Sure, why not? Let's grab ourselves a water candle. I wish I knew where the rest of them were, though. They're not quick stacking. That's not what I expected. I need some more water candles. Okay, water candle, increased enemy spawn rate. Um... I think we get decreased luck from the wrong color, uh, from the wrong biome torches, though. So maybe I should remove these lovely blue mushroom torches. How much money do I have? 1.87 plat. Didn't we get a yo-yo that was cool? Maybe doubling it would be worth... Uh, you know what? Considering how cool they made one of the swords, um, I think I do want to have this just in case we can find a cool yo-yo. Death meter! We got it! Yes. The moment that I wasn't even hoping for it. Alright. So we can now tell how, like, what our altitude is. It works upstairs as well. Um, I think that's also the last accessory we need to combine uh, three of those information accessories into one. Ow. Rude. Uh, so let's pick this up. That's going to go in the money trough. And back we go, I guess. Let's see, where's the guide? Depth meter is compass plus platinum watch. Uh, where did I stash my compass? Probably over here. There it is. All right, so we have a GPS. And I'm pretty sure before we can gain more with the with the same inventory slot, uh, we're going to need a whole lot more stuff. Where fishing is the biggest bottleneck. It takes a lot of fishing quests to get the fish finder, unfortunately. Jungle surface. 
Oh yeah, I got a few uh, enchanted sundials as well. Good old fish run, fun boss indeed. Uh, he can be beat with media helm, uh, media armor, and uh, crystal storm, which you can get very early in hard mode. Uh, it's pretty tough, but it makes everything a lot easier for a long time after that. Uh, let's see. I still don't have any wings. I was going to say I don't really need the wings to fight Fishron, but like, being able to control our descent a little bit is actually not the worst. Except I haven't been able to buy... Uh... Wait. Did I just teleport from this pylon to this pylon? I didn't even realize I could do that. Yeah, for some reason we haven't been able to buy wings from... The Shaman this time. I don't know if the seed just doesn't give us wings or if it's something else. Uh, anyway, let's grab some bait before I forget what I'm doing. Uh, put on our fishing gear, which still doesn't have Terra Spark boots, but I'm only missing, like... What is it? I think it's ice skates. It's literally just ice skates, and I could get a spare uh, Terra Spark boots. There's our dirt fish. And... We got a angler vest. Cool, so our fishing, uh, our, our fisherman cosplay just got a little bit more powerful. Alright, um, let's just sell the silver chainmail. Don't know where I even want to put a yo-yo glove. How about in here? Wait, it's a material. Uh, crafting? White string we can make any time, black or some color of counterweight uh, we have to buy from Bonesy. So I'll keep an eye out for that. Um, I did look all the way through here just to find one pair of ice skates. Um... We could try fishing for it, but I really don't feel like it. So let's go ahead and stash out gold. Uh, where am I keeping journeyman bait? I think down here. Variegated lardfish. I'm pretty sure that's only for ammo reservation potions. Oh, it's actually summoning potion. Alright, just make one or two of those, put it away, that's actually the only summoning potion that I have, whoops. Um, I think I'll just put it in here for now. And we're not quick stacking the mushrooms because I ate them all, used them all for regen potions. Um. Alright, so GPS goes here, we've got... I've heard that technically you can fight Duke Fishron outside of his ocean biome. Uh, it'll enrage him, he'll constantly charge you, which normally would be a death sentence, but it's actually possible with this shield to just keep reflecting uh, the damage back in his face. We could maybe try it for the memes. I don't think it's going to go too well. Uh, and come to think of it, we're probably going to need a hunter potion just so we can see him. I don't have that many hunters, though. We're going to go through all of them. Um, I might try fighting him at least once without the hunter. We've got 24. 
Okay, maybe... Maybe never mind that. Um, but yeah, this is the best magic damage we can get for now. Um, we're not going to be using the Hive Pack. We could probably go Charm of Myths. Defenses don't do a whole lot for this fight. Which is why Glass Cannon is so good for it. But a Charm of Myths doesn't just give us regen, but our potion cooldown is better, so... That one, especially considering there's not that much stuff for us to add right now, it's definitely worth the trouble. Noted, never mind that. Warita, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we get... Ooh, warding. Perfect. If I'm going to wear a Charm of Myths, I want it to be warding. Although, again, I don't think... Uh, defense makes very little difference against... Uh, against our friend here. I should probably... I really should farm the Queen Bee. It shouldn't be difficult now. Let's re-roll the Cross Necklace, even though we're going to end up upgrading it. Armored is fine. And this is the part where I re-roll the Terra Spark Boots twice and regret everything. Maybe? We gained one armor. Uh, I could do that twice more. I think we'll we'll stick with that. Um, and as for the balloon, crit's not bad with this uh, high rate of fire, low damage uh, weapon, actually. I think we're about as... Well, I could get a Star Cloak from a Mimic randomly. Alright, let's kill the Queen Bee uh, as many times as it takes to get the upgrade to uh, the Shark Tooth Necklace, because that'll kick in regen whenever we take damage. Um, it also lets us stack two of these if we want to. Ten Armor Pen when we've got fairly low damage per shot, is actually pretty huge. Um, what was I doing? Guide, crafting... Uh, this is what we need, honeycomb. We've killed the queen bee like four times and we still didn't get it. Uh, let's see, bottled honey, hive, stinger, honey block. Hive, stinger, honey block. We've got... Stinger. I thought we had a hive here somewhere. I could go get some, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Hive. Honey block. Oh, that's everything. Uh, what do we need? A demon altar or what? Oh, no, here it is. A beamination. We can make four. All right. Should be able to clap the queen bee pretty quickly. But that said, let's make sure we have some room to fight her properly without interruptions. Whoops. Could could you stop? Oh my what even hit? What the? Something in the dark hit me for 228 right after we ran into a giant feral bat. Uh. Healthy to dead in three seconds. Welcome to hard mode. Well then. Didn't really lose anything except for like a minute or two. Uh, let's fix our uh, minion buff. Whoops. That's a fishing rod. And vampire frog. I haven't bothered, uh... I haven't bothered re-rolling it yet. 
it's not relevant for too long. Mad Dame Salsa, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Me up here. I forget what these things can sometimes drop that's good. What did it say I was killed by? Jungle Creeper. Figures. This doesn't go anywhere. Jungle needs more light, obviously, indeed. That's what I was doing. I was lighting up the jungle, and it literally just came up through the floor. Uh, after I noticed that giant bat in my face. I think it's called a flying fox. Okay. We're on our way to find... <laughs> to fight something much easier and safer than the common enemies in the jungle. The queen bee. Okay. What are we... Oh, I see. How do I get in here again? Through the water. Oh, is that a... Are we killing a mimic somewhere? I don't want to miss the mimic. I'm going to have to go back and check now. It was probably a possessed armor. How tough are these things? Bloody hell. Let's take that crab statue while we're at it. Alright, in we go. Hornet be gone. That doesn't really hit very much. It's so difficult now to not waste shots going around the corner. Lol. Well, you okay there, buddy? I can't even get my shots through there. Not really. These parts of the dungeon that just fall away? Yeah. Scary? I, I think they're just a pain, honestly. <laughs> they're a nuisance. Oh, I should put this thing here. So we can deal more one damage at a time. Good grief. Can I bounce this up here? I actually can. Alright. Minions, get over here. Where's my other minion? It's fighting a derpling? What? What is even... My, yeah, my vampire frog is over there. You need to stop, vampire frog. There you go. Alright, let's get ourselves... a queen bee party started. I wasted a bacon by dying as well. These uh, shots bouncing all over the place is going to help a lot as well, since it's easy to miss sometimes. Oh, he's al uh, she's already half dead. Whoop. I forgot how fast she gets. Down you go. Fantastic. Once more with feeling. Oops. 
Almost jumped into that one. into that one. Okay, okay, okay. Could you could you cease? Thank you. Oh, and she drops uh she drops some of these lovely bottled honey as well, I forgot. Uh maybe I should go for some bigger heels instead of the bottled honey though. What's the biggest heel we have access to right now? Is it still Honeyfin or She didn't do the charging thing this time. This pattern's actually really good for dodging the, uh, the projectiles. Alright, one more. And then we would have to farm, I think, more crispy... Uh, not crispy honey blocks, but more honey... Uh, more hive blocks. Fantastic. All right, let's see what we've got. We've killed like eight or nine or ten queen bees. Do we do we have the upgrade for the shark tooth necklace now? We have another hive pack. Uh, we have the pet bee. We still have. We still don't have the item we're looking for. Keeps dropping me into really deep pits of sharp things. Yeah, it's nasty. The, uh, crumbling blocks. I just hate how inconsistent they are. In, uh, one of the things, one of the little things that I really loved with Calamity was, um, uh, they made it so that as soon as you touch one of those crumbling blocks, the entire section of it just goes. So you're not left with a bunch of little bits that you're never getting rid of. Alright. I guess, uh, sell this stuff. Got another headstone. There we go. Uh, wire goes here. What is this? Jungle grass seeds? I think I'll just stash those in case I want them again later. And a crab statue. How many honeyfin do we have? We've got six. It's definitely enough for like one boss fight, or two. Hold on, I should check... Uh... Where am I keeping my crystal shards? Over here, I think? Or was it... Where's our pixie dust? I know we've got pixie dust somewhere. Or did I use it all? Uh, anyway, I think Crystal Shards go into bigger healing potions. They do. Uh, bottled Water, Pixie Dust, and Crystal Shards. Uh, and how, how big was the heal? 150. That's definitely more worth our time. To farm some of those. 
I just need some pixies, honestly. We've got plenty of uh, crystal shards. I hear a pixie. Thought that was it for a second. Is it down below? Oh, it is. That's rude. Oh, there's another gelatin thingamajig. Not that there's really any reason to fight... Oh, there is a reason to quite fight Queen Slime. There's the mount. That might actually be kind of nice. Let's dig through here. Got the shadow key. Nice, nice. Got a whole bunch of chests ready to be opened, I imagine. Come back. Give me your dust. I want at least 20 uh, greater healing potions. Don't remember what I wanted the shadow from the shadow chests. Uh, I think there's an item or two that you need for the ultimate boots. There's also flame lash, a couple of melee items, uh, some stuff like lava sponge. Oh, the halo hasn't quite spread over here yet. Rainbow slime, let's go. Oh, there's gold in there. I'm not even bothering with worms anymore on this playthrough. We get 35% bait power without any crafting from the... Uh, from the very common lava snails. How much dust do we have? Eight. I think that only gives us like four. Another gelatin? Uh, yeah, I think we need a few more uh, fairies. Need to make it so we can get through this place a bit easier. Fantastic. Oh, what was that? souls while we're at it. What do we got? 15? That's a good start. Just a couple more pixies and we'll go make those potions. That is a goldfish. We got gamer lighting in here. Whoops. Come on, one more pixie. Show me the pixies. Oh, and I forgot to grab that magic buff as well. I love that these uh, station buffs are just indefinite now. 
Because it really was just a little chore tapping them all the time. Why we can't get one more pixie is beyond me though. Could we place a torch? There we go. I hear possibly a mimic? Where is it? Someone was slain? That was a possessed armor. Not even a mimic, just wasting my time. She just stood there while it walked into her. Happy grenade. She was like keeping it back with the grenades and then she just gave up. 34 range damage. It kind of bounces funny. Uh, where did I put it? Happy grenade. Here we go. Uh, I'm not sure if it does bounce any differently, actually. It's quite weak for hard mode, which I'm pretty sure you have to be in hard mode to see the party girl. I hear one more pixie. It's up this way. Um, I don't really have a way to get to it without messing up the whole environment. Oh, you have to fight the Queen Slime in the Hallow, so I think that might be a bit dicey, considering we can't fight her on the surface. Uh, I guess this might be the best place? I might just wait till I'm a bit more OP, but on the other hand, having this mount plus wings uh, would actually be kind of nice, especially because we can't even find any wings. Twenty-seven pixie dust, that is what we came for. Let's, let's leave. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Okay, back we go. How many souls did we pick up? Twelve? It's not bad. Uh, pixie dust is in here for some reason. Okay. I must have just shoved things out of the way haphazardly. Um, can we not fit pixie dust and crystal shards in with the potion ingredients? We can if we move the seeds. Should probably have a dedicated chest for them. Unicorn horn I think goes into some potions. Super mana potion. We've got graders. One horn for 15, but we get 300 mana as opposed to 200. We've only got a capacity for like 200 right now, so it doesn't really make a difference. Holy arrows can be pretty good. Uh, we need soul of sight to make the better magic missile. So, I don't think we're terribly interested in unicorn horns at the moment, especially not just one. But what we are interested in is greater healing potions. Uh, 150 life a pop. That's almost double the bottled honey, not counting the regen. Um, but if we could just get the Queen Bee to drop a certain item, uh, we would get regen kicking in automatically whenever we take damage. Um, 
so I need honey blocks. That's what we're missing here. And to make honey blocks, we could either pour water on honey or vice versa. Um, I think I have an infinite... I've got sponges, but I don't have... Oh, I do have a bottomless lava bucket. I think that makes crispy honey, though. Which I do need some of for fishing potions. But... We tend to just get more fishing potions than we'll ever need. Just by doing fishing quests, so I don't know if it's even worth the trouble. I'll just double check there isn't something else that crispy honey block is used for. Um, but yeah, we need some regular honey blocks to summon the queen bee again. I like how I can see when I've hit the bottom because of the uh, fancy shoes. Or rather, the rune stuff. The cosmetics. Okay. Uh, so I don't think we have a water source. We'll just do it this way. Not this way. Uh, where did I put the demolitionist? I think he's in the forest. Here we go. Wet bomb. Wet bomb. That made a little less honey than I was expecting. Honey blocks, that is. Grief. Maybe I should bomb it. Oh, isn't that going to blow out some of the back walls, maybe? I don't really want to do that. Alright, so that should be enough to summon many a queen bee. Uh, what am I missing? If we've got 16 hive, honey block, stinger. Uh, what was the other thing? It's bottled honey, which I stashed away here somewhere. There we go. Alright. As many times as it takes. Oh, wait. This is already out of date, but we could go plus two minions. Or is it plus three with the set bonus? I don't remember. Hive five. That is the... Uh, that's the yo-yo I wanted to mess around with a little bit. We only got three? Oh, I need more hive. How much hive does it take? I think it used five. Yeah, five, five hive to get a queen bee. Last time we fought the queen bee here, uh, it killed our NPCs. So I do, unfortunately, want to go to the trouble of heading down this way again. Oh, this way's... F I always get stuck here. Let's, uh, let's fix that. You know what? I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna block myself off. We're not going that way again. Down we go. Give me those coins. Beautiful. 
Okay, I don't think we need buff potions for this. We do have food for only three more minutes. Here comes our friend. I was actually waiting for it to charge from behind me. I'm trying to bounce the shots into it. Didn't work out so well. Need to work on my aim a little bit. There we go. Uh, that actually stung a little bit. Let's get some honey regen. Oh, that's going down fast. Now, get out of here, bees. Give me whatever's dropped. There we go. And once more. This time, we're going to get the item. A thousand percent. There is literally a zero percent chance that she won't give us the item that we've killed her 15 times for. Couldn't happen. <laughs> that death sounds kind of funny. Alright. Here we go. We've got... Honeycomb. We've got just one honeycomb after all of that. Fantastic. Okay, so I have some spare shark tooth necklaces somewhere. Let's put the lava bucket back here. Um, I think what I'll do is quick stack and watch where it goes. There it is. So I definitely want to keep the menacing one. Uh, and let's get this regular shark tooth necklace upgraded. I'll just double check. I think there's like three things that this, uh, where is it? Honeycomb upgrades into. Uh, we could make a honey balloon. Which I think you can add a horseshoe to, and I think we do have a horseshoe, so... But all it does is adds the same passive that we're already going to have, and I don't think it stacks. Uh, it also releases bees. It doesn't just give us the honey regen debuff. Uh, re uh, regen buff. Um, but yeah, stinger necklace, bee cloak. We're not going to do that. We're going to combine the star cloak with the armored cross with the cross necklace because there's like literally no other purpose for it. There's, there's no other upgrade path. And Sweetheart Necklace increases movement speed after taking damage. I'm not terribly excited about that one. Even though I do value movement quite a lot. The wizard is back. Fantastic. Let's get our Stinger Necklace. Warding? I might just not even re-roll that. So now we can stack these two together for 10 armor pen, release bees, and douse the user in honey. Um, but it does raise the question of what we're going to swap out. If I don't keep the horseshoe balloon, I could actually die instantly from carelessly not noticing I'm about to hit the ground we don't have wings. Uh, and if we did have wings, I would probably keep it here anyway. I could swap out the Charm of Myths. Um, because Glass Cannon really, really is the way to go against Duke. But 
I don't know, the the uh the cooldown reduction on potions is actually kind of a big deal. I have a question. I just started Terraria and was wondering if you can have wings in classic mode? Uh I believe so, yes. Isn't classic mode just a difficulty setting? Honestly, the modes uh, kind of confuse me. Oh yeah, I wanted to try the double yo-yo with this. Let's get rid of the summons. I only see one yo-yo. Allows the use of two yo-yos at once, so do they come out the same and then just bounce off the enemy? Yeah, they... Oh, once you hit one. And so you, you have two yo-yos spawning bees. That is amazing. Very cheeky for tickling stuff to death around a corner. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, I'll take that back as well. Wait, that's not... Oh, a mimic. Let's go. And we got another Philosopher's Stone. Not quite what I was looking for. Although, I could get another one and see what it rolls to. We've got plenty of, uh, uh, plenty of regen bands already. Fleeting? Rip. How much does it cost to reforge this? A little bit. Classic is the easiest besides Journey, and yeah, you can. That's what I'm playing right now. Nice. Uh, off... Offlin? Well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just put this away. Uh, why do I have multiple pwn hammers? I don't need a molten hammer anymore if I'm gonna keep a pwn hammer handy. I think I'll just mm, yo-yo thing in here. I find over here somewhere. Where did my balloon go? There it is. Okay, so we've got. Uh, longer invincibility after taking damage. I'm not sure how much that's going to help against, uh, against Fishron, to be honest, because we take one big hit occasionally, usually. So it might not be that helpful. Uh, the shield is absolutely required. You have to... Use it to keep your distance from him, and sometimes parry with it. Uh, the Mana Flower kind of increases our damage, because the less often you consume a Mana Potion, uh, the less time you spend with the damage debuff. Uh, the Double Stinger Necklaces... Actually, I'm not sure if it... the Armor penetration makes any difference with uh, fish run. I think I remember doing some experiments. Do I have a DPS meter? I don't think so. No DPS meter here. And no DPS meter here. So we're not even going to be able to compare them. Uh, I would have to compare them against Fishron himself, though, not just a target dummy. 
Uh, let's sell these queen relics. And all this other crap in here. Seems like hive pack is one of the easiest things to get. Don't need another extractinator. Uh, I don't really need a yellow slime banner. Shouldn't this go in here? Active stone block. You used to have to make those. Uh, like, actuators didn't exist, and we had these instead to swap out blocks with wires. But they changed that. Happy grenade, get out of here. And... I was going to keep the water candles handy in here. Okay. I don't know, this might be... I can't decide... I, I think maybe the Charm of Myths would actually be better than the Cross Necklace. Because we have to get hit, like, twice in pretty rapid succession for this to negate a hit. And Duke Fisheron hits us very hard, like, one hit at a time. So I don't think it's really going to accomplish anything unless we're playing so poorly that we would just lose anyway. Did I just get rid of the only armor polish I had? That, that's kind of dumb. Or did we already combine it with something? Another one earlier. No. I think I just didn't value that highly enough. Whoops. Alright, statues in here. Uh, wet bombs in here. Crispy honey block I'm just going to turn into fishing potions immediately because there's no other use for them. Actually, I was going to double check that. Crispy honey block, literally just fishing potion. Alright, so we've got basically infinite uh, fishing potions. And spare charm of myths can go... Here, I guess. How much money do I have? Three point three plat? Okay. In that case, let's get some more party mode on. Let's grab some pig granatas. Oh. Um, I may have bought a couple too many. But Grappling Hook instantly destroys them. This is how we get our bacon. <laughs> BG Nyman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we spent three plat, but we already got uh, one plat back. Directly. By opening two thirds of these. And we've doubled our bacon. Uh, the party bullets are not the worst, but I don't think I'll keep them. They're just like, kind of like worse explosive bullets. Well, better because I forgot explosive bullets can hurt you. It's actually the explosive uh, arrows that can't hurt you when you use them. I'm fine. Hope you are too. Thank you. Good to hear. Alright, so... Are we out of excuses not to fight Duke Fisheron? I could grab a few more... Um, party time's over. 
I didn't even turn it off myself. Huh. Um, we've only got seven truffle worms, but that's not too bad. I noticed uh, fishing power says warning if you have truffle worms. Nice touch. Oh yeah, potions. Uh, let's see. We've got food, regen, defense, light, movement. Uh, we're going to need a bit more than that. Thorns really doesn't do a whole lot of, against fish run. He's, he's going to kill you in like three or four or five hits, depending on your armor. Uh, Hunter Potion is probably a good idea, to be honest. I think I got a bunch of these from crates, from fishing. It was actually the easiest way to get them. Uh, we very much need Grav Potions. I'm not going to use Featherfall Potions. Flipper Potion is not the worst idea, because sometimes we accidentally dip into the water, and we can either have a whole lot more space to fight Duke, in that we have the water, or if we dip into the water, we're actually in big trouble because we get slowed down a lot. Um, what else? We're not going to use Archery, Wrath Potion for damage, Endurance Potion. I should really farm more of these. But I just want to make one attempt to get a feel for it. Um, I'm pretty sure other enemies can't spawn while we fight Duke Fishron, so we're not going to need a Calming Potion or anything. Uh, magic Power, Mana Regen. Not going to be underwater long enough to need a Gills Potion, that's for sure. I think it's technically possible to get some hearts from the the little sharks that come out of Sharknadoes, but that's going to happen so rarely, I don't think the heart reach uh, potion is actually worth it. And let's check if there's any more fish we've got stashed. There are not. I could bring in one more summon, but the summons never really accomplish anything. Uh, with these fights. So I th think that's it. I think we're almost as ready as we could be. Um, teleport to the ocean. Let's go. Oh, I also wanted to... This is jungle. This is a jungle torch. Does that mean this is jungle biome? Does this count as surface jungle? Can we get the uh, the wings? Is what I'm wondering, hoping. Uh, let's bring the witch doctor over here. What time is it? PM? Good. So he should appear down there immediately. Fantastic. He is not selling wings. I'm still hearing ocean music, even though... Let's bring someone... Uh, like... The golfer or something? Painter? Oh, wait. Alright, so we got two villagers. The pylon works. It definitely counts as ocean before it counts as jungle. Even though we're automatically placing jungle torches. I'm pretty sure they're jungle torches. Yep, they're jungle torches. Okay, well, we're going to have to deconstruct all of this. Um, I think if we just wreck these homes... 
these uh, NPCs should leave and we don't have to dunk them into the water. It's going to be fun raking up all of this again. Probably should pop some light. Oh, this is one way to farm blink root. I didn't even plant those. This didn't work either, I'm pretty sure. Get some AoE in here. Okay, 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 okay. They're all spawning rather relentlessly. This DPS is still better. With the direct damage. I don't like leaving those blocks to fall. I know it's completely irrational, but... Oh. Those clouds are kind of OP, though. Maybe I should just drop bombs to clear all this. I could use a calming potion, actually. That'll help. wanted the auto target to do. Why are we getting frogs now? Oh, missed a spot. And I forgot to be afraid of stars. to get an idea of what depth is dangerous. Let's see. This is 700 surface. I think 1400 would probably kill us. done deconstructing this bridge. Not even. Uh, I'm gonna use bombs. Give me some stickies. Entirely necessary. I think we got it all, though. Actually almost hit that star. Whoops. At least I knew to avoid it. Yeah, that was much quicker. You're still here? Well, let's just dig this away. Good day, just found your channel by accident and wanted to leave some positive feedback. Like your calm voice and organized playstyle. We'll like some more. Thank you. Dear Curti, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me see how high I go with a double jump boost here. 
740 space. I'd really like to know exactly what height we can go up to, but finding out is going to be a bit dangerous in itself. I don't think we can kill the NPCs with that, but I'd rather not. Am I going to have to order you back to your homes so you don't drown? Which doctor... Where did I even put the painter? I think he was over here somewhere. Painter. And magic conch. Oh, and they're already out of the way. Fantastic. Okay. I kind of want to get rid of this, but, well, no, I should, because it could get us stuck under certain circumstances. It's going to be a little dangerous. Oh, I can't breathe. There we go. I don't have a flipper or anything, so I can't actually swim up. Could we maybe get rid of those walls? Otherwise they'll drive me crazy. Fantastic. Oh yeah, I forgot. I fished up a bunch of uh, hard mode metals as well. You absolutely can get them from fishing before... Uh, before breaking a single... Demon altar. Ow, rude. Oh, I forgot. I think I have to go... Ah, ow, 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 ow. No, stop it. Uh, I think I have to go all the way over here to be far enough away from the corrupted sand uh, to prevent corruption enemies from spawning in the dark. Um, I'll keep the ocean pylon. As for the rest... Get out of my inventory. Wait, that's the void vault. We've got infinite blink root already. Okay, I guess I'll just stash this, like, here somewhere. Let's grab some honey buff. There we go. I have to run across here before the enemies stop spawning. Okay. What are you shooting? Jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I think this is it. I think this is where we fight Duke Fishron. I'm gonna say 1400 or even 1200. We shouldn't go higher than that. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the time and horizontal position, so I can spot this very easily when I look for it. Uh, Minimap might be a good idea. At least some of the time. 
We've got all of our buffs ready. I'll have to do some farming after the first fight. Oh, come to think of it, we're probably not going to kill him in four minutes. Even if we succeed. Uh, I still don't feel like farming anymore before I start this, so let's just try it. Oh, this is the spot right here. Where the biome changes. Okay. So let's... Let's get some light. Let's fish. Let's get a bite. Let's buff. Let's run away. And keep a close eye on our altitude. Actually, there's really no need for me. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Okay. 1100 is space. Uh, we do not want to go to space. So I think I want to turn around at only like six or seven hundred. Not do as big of a circuit as I used to. That'll mean more risk of running into the tornadoes, but I guess we just have to... Oh my god! Okay, that was fast. Um, I definitely should have reversed gravity sooner. Uh, I'm going to farm up a few more potions for damage and damage reduction. Where did I do the fishing? Oh, I remember. For the Ebon Koi. Let's get some minions. And magic buff. we go. Should I fight Queen Slime first? So that my mount has wings? I don't think it's really necessary. Alright. Wait, we've got Corruption and Hollow here? How did that happen? Alright. Uh, I don't want to use truffle worms for bait right now. Let's use magma snails instead. Uh, and while we're at it... Oh, I did make this door. Good. I think we'll use our fishing gear. It looks like there's nowhere for the enemies to spawn, except for the worms. So they can get in here. So let's switch to our fishing gear and bottoms up. May as well look for some crates while we're at it, I suppose. Club of fish sells for a bit of money. Oh, look at this derpling that can't actually fit in there. I should stop pulling in every single fish. We're looking for ebon koi, primarily. And I'll take any crates. There's ebon koi, ebon koi number one. I need some armored cave fish as well. They're kind of hard to get. I'll take more clubber fish. They sell for like a gold or two. Fantastic. We've already got more 
wrath potions than endurance potions. Or will do. Mithril crate. Fantastic. Didn't mean to fish up bass. Why is it 19% fi minus 19% fishing power? I wonder. We've got a jungle fish here as well. Pond too small? Maybe. Oh, we're actually getting armored cave fish here as well. That's excellent. Okay, so if we extend it so that this is one big pond. It doesn't say minus 19%. Fantastic. Good call. Uh, I'm also very pleased that we can get uh, cave fish here as well. I should definitely kill that trapper though, because um, there's a very small chance of getting an Uzi out of it, which is like a side grade from the Mega Shark. But I can't really reach it safely, so never mind. Getting a good few crates. Um, I won't take another crate potion. Actually, I might. We're still getting plenty of ebon koi and a few cave fish. I don't think we're even going to get cave fish faster if we go somewhere else. So this is actually a really good spot. Then again, there's biome chests to consider. Well, forest isn't going to give us anything like that. I think that's like the second frog leg I've picked up. Defiled crate. Oh yeah, and we can fish up a, uh, what is it called? Toxicarp as well. I'm surprised we haven't got one yet. That's actually kind of almost as good as Mega Shark DPS wise. Does ranged damage, doesn't cost any ammo, makes big bubbles that are really good at blocking bats. Uh, it's just not great with range. I wish I could see... Oh, there's the Toxicarp. Just what I was talking about. I've only got one armored cavefish this whole time I've been here. I thought I got at least two. It's actually been a pretty good haul, except for the armored cave fish. I wonder if the... we died in three hits, so I wonder if the uh, endurance potion even made a difference or not. I didn't actually see how much damage we took. Also, we're getting pearlwood Oh no, pearl wood is just like the basic wooden crate. I forgot, that's not actually like a biome thing. Seaside crate? Uh, I think that's happened twice. I've gotten ocean crates just in random places. 
in this seed. What's our fishing power? 114. This has actually been an insanely good haul. You got it? The, uh, aglet? Nice. Is that the last, uh, last boots ingredient? Or you just desperately needed the lightning boots? I'm surprised how safe this has been. Um, we got lucky with the enemy spawns. They filled up the screen before we got any giant uh, corruption worms. I'm gonna guess that you don't yet have a obsidian rose and or lava charm. Those are probably the hardest to get. Unless you get unlucky with the aglet. <laughs> You have the rose, nice, nice. So I think it's lava fishing you want to do to get the last piece. Oh, uh, unless you don't have, what's it called, water walking boots. I've been lucky, I think I got two water walking boots this run. All right, let's sell the club of fish. Uh, and the rockfish. Frog leg can go in here. Toxicarp is one of my favorite items. I'll open the chest uh, crates a bit later. Don't sell the Toxicarp. Don't sell these either. Okay. And I was going to put the frog leg in here, or maybe just combine it with the Menacing Flipper. Beautiful. Oh yeah, and I fished up some uh, tiger climbing gear as uh, the other side of the type, uh, tiger climbing gear as well. So we can actually um, we can actually get the ninja gear when the time comes. Okay. Toxicarp, I'm going to stash in here for when I feel like playing ranged. Uh, but currently nothing compares to Media and Crystal Storm for DPS. Although, depending on how much metal we have after this... Oh, Water Walking Boots. They must have made these more common. Either that or I'm high rolling like crazy right now. All right, what do we got? Bunch of sailfish and tsunami in a bottle. Another climbing claw, vile thorn, anchor, spelunker potions, metal, master bait. Nothing too exciting. Wait, is that my first light pet? It actually is. Not that I bother much with light pets anymore. Um, I was going to make Endurance Potion. We only got one. Wrath Potion. We've got 35 now. That's good. Uh, I wish we could farm up cave fish more quickly. Oops. Water walking boots. Can go in here. Sell this crap. Uh, I don't really need tsunamis in a bottle anymore. 
We don't need a million pairs of sailfish boots. Uh, I may as well combine the climbing claws. Sell the mana potions. We've still got 333 graders. And I think we're about ready to go again. Oh, how much metal did I get? Bud mode metals. I think we've got just barely not enough titanium ore to uh, to make the final furnace. And the rest is actually surprisingly underwhelming. Okay. Let's put our bait away. And give it another shot. Oh, where am I? It's so dark. No corruption monsters following us? Uh, yeah, they kind of are, actually. I forgot I had the laser rifle. What are you shooting at, sir? Okay. Once more with feeling, let's try Duke Fishron. Don't kill me. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I wasted a few seconds of potion time now. Need to fall into the sky so that we can keep away from him. Need to turn around at about 700. We need to fall faster using the mount sometimes. We can't fall faster upside down though. The dash also gets us further away. We want to go in big circles. Uh, that giant worm is not helping. Let me down, let me down, let me down. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad. Or it's actually not as bad as I thought. I was getting ready to portal home there. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I should actually turn around at like six or s at like 600 because we don't actually want to slow down in the air because of gravity. Oh, this is bad. It's actually a quarter done already. Alright, I think we've got the warm-up phase down. We just have to not screw it up. Getting the uh, whirlwind tornado thing happening in a oh no, happening in about the same place, which is good. But now we've lost the rhythm. There goes a deadly star again. I can't fall fast enough. This is really bad. Uh, Twenty-eight seconds till I can heal. That's not so good, actually. Don't run into the shark. 
go over his head, fall faster. Oh, where'd my grab potion go? Oh my god. I bounced off his head. Okay. Gotta watch the timers. Oh, that's so bad. Oh no. Oh no. It was going so well until... Oh, the star! That's... I almost... I almost ran into the star. And we're a bit too high up, but that's okay this time. Oh, that's not good. I shouldn't have gone that way. I want to turn around right when he stops to shoot. This is going well now. Famous last words. I think we are going to make it to the final phase this time. Oh, we're only 40% down. Uh, down to 40%, rather. It's not as good as I thought. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. shouldn't have flipped gravity twice there. What's my gravity timer? I can't see it. Uh, fall faster, fall faster. Where's the gravity timer? Two minutes, okay. It's actually longer than I thought. Except two minutes could mean almost anything. The way those timers are displayed. I think we're going to make it to the final phase, though. Okay, okay. 659 is actually high enough for space to slow us down. I should definitely turn around before 600. <sighs> the charm? I don't know. Oh, the lava charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No charm going fishing. <sighs> well, apart from being a little more terrified of going too high... It's really not that different from usual. In other news, I have the charm. <laughs> less, less excited to say it now. No, it's fine. After no practice and that being the second attempt, uh, I'm not that displeased with that. Although it is a bit of a marathon, even with the best DPS gear that we can get right now. M. Lem, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I gotta put this here. I need a little break from fighting after that. My hand was actually getting, like, sore or sweaty or something. Um... Until I figure out what I want to do, let's see if we can get some cave fish. Actually, I'll pop a sonar. You know what? I'll pop a fishing potion. You know what? We're, we're all in on the fishing. This is actually a good way to mentally reset. Stinkfish is not what we're after. I could turn it into seafood dinners, but seafood dinners suck now. Uh, Swerty? Oh, Swerty YouTube. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well.
Can we get some armored cave fish? Yes, yes we can. Why have we only got 79 fishing power right now? Is it because it was raining before? I think raining gives us fishing uh rain gives us fishing power. Cause this is we're not getting a negative. This is definitely a big enough body of water. By a long shot, actually. I could Well. We almost already have a natural fishing spot for the hallow. Just let it spread a bit longer. That's five armored cavefish already. This actually is a much better spot for the cavefish. At six. Fantastic. Oh, I should do some... Uh, I, I do want more armored cave fish, but maybe I should do some fishing in the ice so we could get those skates. Alright, there we go. Let's head down here. Uh, down here, actually. It is a big enough body of water. Fantastic. Boreal crate? That just might be our skates. Reaver shark, lol. Damn it, snow. Titanium crate. Fantastic. We're getting a lot of crates. I can't wait to find out. Let's see if we got our skates as soon as something bites. We got a boomerang. Rip. I still don't have the third boomerang or whatever it is to, to try out the uh, the tri boomerang. Ninya. Oh, I think I just missed something. Uh, Ninya Kiwi. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I hope that wasn't an armored cave fish. Not sure where we're hearing seagulls from. I should probably be using a crate potion if I'm going to be fishing here. Since I don't think we can actually get many armored cave fish here. As soon as we finish this fishing, uh, we'll try Yuke again. No English? Uh, well, unfortunately that's the only language I do speak properly. We got... No ice skates. Feels bad. I could do bundle of balloons, though. No, I don't think I have the sand 
Sandstorm. Cough up the skates. I don't think we're getting skates this time. But we probably already have enough titanium to uh to make the nice uh forge. I could go for like frost armor against Duke, maybe. Although the whole point of early Duke is being able to skip stuff like that, kind of. We need a lot of titanium and or adamantite to make that happen though, as well. Boreal Crate. Come on, skates. Those are not skates. Uh, I should have gone back and used the rest of the fishing time for Ahmed K fish at some point. Oh well, we've got a few. All right, let's go. Endurance potion. Fantastic. Ooh, 18. We actually just got insanely lucky with the rolls, uh, with randomly getting extra potions, or keeping potion ingredients, uh, using the alchemy lab. So that's cool. Let's open these, and these, and these. Another enchanted sundial. Beautiful. Uh, I think I'll keep the blizzard in a bottle just in case we end up being able to make a bundle of balloons. The blood moon is rising. I don't think we want to do blood moon fishing... Uh, actually, I don't know. Eh, oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. Bad. No, he 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 he. Frickin' monster clowns. Okay, before we were so rudely interrupted... I was trying to sort my inventory out. But I don't think that's going to happen right now. Most of the Blood Moon in hard mode is not threatening at all, but those, uh... Yeah, those clowns come out of nowhere. One shot you. The chattering teeth bombs in particular are actually really hard to spot. I can't even see where this clown is. I can hear a chattering teeth bomb. Is it above us? It's actually kind of spooky. Wait. That's 
not the void bag contents. Oh, that's 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 a flying enemy. Okay, okay. Could could you be persuaded not to? Thank you. Uh, let's see, void bag. Uh, let me just put all of this in here for now. Oh, we're back to full health. Don't need to be as scared right now. Oh my god, it can toss... It can toss those bombs so far. Is there a drop from the monster clowns that are actually worth the trouble? I hope we don't get pirates before we're ready. That would be, uh, ungood. Oh, that's a chattering teeth bomb that I almost missed. Kind of hard to see when everything's red. More so than usual for the Blood Moon. Chattering teeth bomb. Oh, I think I see it. Yep, yep, yep. Even when I'm looking for it from a safe place, it's hard to spot. That's a lot of possessed armors. stops. Oh boy. Okay. 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 Nope. None of that, please. Here, Chatterbomb. It's actually much easier to defend against this with the ceiling to hold onto. I need better AoE. Like a razor blade typhoon, perhaps? Let's just chill here for a minute. I could try the, uh... Whatchamacallit. Eternia a Crystal event. Eh. 
And another clown. Okay. Maybe I could use this instead. Oh, that actually hits like a truck. Wow. Okay, if I don't want to spend mana and use homing missiles, I know what I'm using. Melee, by the way. Laugh it up. Should be finishing the Blood Moon in a moment. Oh, there we go. I think that's the end of the Chatter Teeth. We got another Titan Glove. Got a whole bunch of crap. Fantastic. Alright, can we finally have a look at our loot from before? Quick stack some of that away. Uh, I don't think we need more shackles, actually. Sell this other stuff. Mithril ore? Oh, that goes in here, actually. Fantastic. Another egglet. I might even hold on to that. And that just leaves... Wedding dress to sell. On the off chance I decide to use living fire blocks. So this can go in with the building materials. Bait that we're not using goes over here. Blizzard in a bottle can go here. And let's try the attorney crystal. I want to see how far it goes at this point. Uh, I can't remember where I stashed the crystals, though. I could buy one and find out. It's over here. And we'll be needing the Ballista Rod. Actually, does he sell anything better already? He does not. Traveling Merchant just popped right in front of my face and is only selling us stuff that we already have or don't care about. I need the DPS meter. Okay, let's head over this way. I think Triple Imp will be what we want though. Uh, I remember putting 
our one summoning potion over here. Even if the imps have fallen behind on damage, the fact that they pierce everything is still good for this. Here's our crystal, and that is a mimic. Drop it. Ow, jeez. I think it literally two shot me. All right, summoning potion, extra imp, and start. go. How did this already take damage? Maybe it was a regular enemy that attacked it. Oh, I should use the laser. Piercing is going to go a long way. Sentry. Back to full health. Maybe I should take a Wrath Potion for this. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Also, we can definitely gank the spawns much more effectively here because the shots that go past will bounce back. So far, so good. And over here. How long until they spawn? Five seconds. Should be seeing some heavier stuff soon. Alright, let's go this side. Yeah, there we go. Ow. I didn't think it would be this easy at this stage. crystals. Or mana, I guess. And another one over here. Laser rifle's insane. Yeah, it's great. It's good for a long time as well. Because even when the damage isn't that amazing, the fact that it's so fast, perfectly accurate, and pierces uh, is very, very handy on a lot of enemies. I think we haven't unlocked a harder Eternian Crystal yet. Probably have to kill a mech boss or something. 
I, I would have thought just being in hard mode would um would make it a bit more difficult or stronger anyway. There's a flying one over here somewhere. There it is. And here comes the boss. Do not let the flying ones through though, because they actually deal a ton of damage. And once they get in range, they kind of ignore all knockback. done. And that's actually the end of it. It's just like pretty hard mode. Oh well. Oh, that was pointless. Bit of a palate cleanser after the, uh, after fish run and the blood moon though. Oh. Alright, let's go back. Let's put... You know what? I might hold on to the Ballista Rod since this does, like, literally one damage to everything now. Even though I usually hold on to the Lightning Aura Rod just to scout underground. Stack that away. This goes in here. And the Cross Necklace... Maybe on the fishing gear I should have plus one max sentry. Might not be the worst idea. Alright. Uh, put this away. Doesn't actually quick stack anywhere. It would, but that is full. Alright, should we pick a fight with a fish again? I always forget where I'm going to be teleporting to, it's kind of nasty. Hey, they disappeared. Bruh. Okay. Truffle worm. Fishing rod. Buff potions. Start with light. Fish. And buff, left click, run away. And reverse gravity, run away. And flip gravity at 600, or sooner. Sooner would probably be better. I should try 500. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Let me down. It feels like, uh... Maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like on this... What the hell? What? What just happened? It feels like on this seed, gravity drops off sooner when we go into the sky. Oh, that's so bad. Oh no. This is why the rhythm with the exact circuit is so important with this boss.
Almost ran into another one. I only dodged it by luck. What the? How were the bubbles so fast, and how did my shots not block them? They literally take one damage to get rid of. Well, let's try again, I guess. Once you see the biome torch change, you know you're in the right place. Oh! Invisible enemies, nice. Always good. At this rate, I'm gonna run out of mana potions. Okay, let's take a minute. Recharge our batteries. I'm going to need full health without any potion sickness. Okay, now I'm having trouble picking up the honey. There it goes. Alright, we got fishing rod, we got truffle worm... We've got light, we've got bait away, we've got buff, we've got scary fish. I hate to say it, but I think uh, swapping gravity at 600 was actually perfect earlier. Even though I like, I don't like to have to go that high. Uh, it just works better with the rotation to avoid the tornadoes and stuff. Oh, that's bad. Now we're doing figure eights. That's actually a terrible idea. We want to do one big circle. That's close. Don't want to get this close next time. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's bad. That's bad. Luckily, I didn't take damage because the shield... Uh, counted it as an attack with the Shield of Cthulhu. Oh my god. Can't fall fast enough here. Luckily he stopped at that spot. At least he doesn't count as um, getting enraged once he gets into the corruption area. It still counts as the ocean, as far as Duke Fisheron is concerned. I can't fall fast enough. I'm dead. Ah. <sighs> Once more with feeling. So, the first attempt was actually perfect in terms of going around in a circle that's just the right size to make sure we don't have random sharknadoes to run into that we can't see coming. So we really do want to... Uh, Flip gravity when we're falling upside down at about 600, uh, 600 altitude.
think we've still got all these buffs. Uh, now let's try not to stick around long enough to attract any corrupt enemies this time. Too late. They disappeared, but the shot didn't. The enemy disappeared, but the projectile didn't. Okay, we've still got our buffs. Let's try and make the most of them. It's okay if I'm this high up as long as he stops to shoot at that point. Otherwise he'll catch me. Now I'm doing a figure eight. This is actually terrible. Gotta wait till he wants to stop. There we go. Good. This is looking very good, actually. Gotta keep it up for quite a while, though. Oh no, that's really bad. Just unlucky tornado positioning. How did that hit me? I think... I think what happened there is, because I flipped gravity, the cursor jumped like 60 degrees, and I didn't actually block the shot. How? What? Two minutes on the grab potion still. Our direction. Makes me a little bit uncomfortable, to be honest. Oof, that's why. Not just because I'm used to the uh, clockwise direction. Let me down. Oh, enemies are still spawning. That's good. I was hoping there would be more random things coming from the other side of the screen. While I'm trying to keep away from this guy. Oh, grab potion's gone. Oof, bad timing. Down we go. That's looking pretty good, actually. We're down to half health. Where is he? As you can see, if we do nice big rotations... The Sharknado tends to have disappeared in time before we get back, usually. And you definitely don't want to be near that when it explodes. It can be very random uh, whether it deals direct damage to you uh, when the homing bubble thing explodes, like right next to you. But on top of that, you don't want to be near it in terms of setting up your positioning for later. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is worse than I thought even.
It's difficult to keep up that rhythm for long enough. But it's not that much more difficult, honestly, than killing him a bit later on using media armor. Because it's not like you can take three more hits from him or something. We've still got plenty of all of our buffs. Let's try it again. I forgot to get my summon buff. What are they shooting at? Oh, I hear a zomb- a, a mummy, actually. As long as it's not corruption enemies. Okay. This is our last two truffle worms. Don't think I'm gonna pull it off before we have to get more bait. I accidentally used all the buffs already. Always want to be changing directions when he's getting ready to slow down to shoot. Except from the ocean. In space we want to change direction when he shoots like that. actually looking pretty good. Oh. I keep finding the Sharknado in about the same place when I get back down. Which is what we want. We've got the rhythm down. Oh, I forgot to... I, I say that as I forget to change direction as soon as I see him start to bubble. Now we're going to throw off the whole thing. Hopefully we can switch it around. Okay, this is looking good now. And I forgot again. I I'm just totally blanking. potion at the wrong time, but that's okay. We can take a hit occasionally. Not two hits like that, though. That's that's bad. Okay. I talked about getting that rhythm right, and then I just completely blanked on when to change direction. Uh, Bidirec, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well.
Uh, well, we've got one more attempt um, before we need to farm up more truffle worms. But I'm getting the... Uh, I'm getting the dance down. I just have to not lose my concentration. Oh my god. I wish it wasn't always pitch black up here. Gonna have to wait to regen now. And we lost our honey. We need to use honey to regen because we need to not have uh, our... Maybe I should stop using the Charm of Myths. I really can't afford to make mistakes often enough that the cooldown reduction from the healing potion is relevant. But what would I even replace it with? I don't think we can get that much more damage out. The Armored Cross Necklace is only going to help when we're getting owned anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure. I could reduce my mana usage even more, which would just be a slight buff uh, for DPS overall. And that's only if we're hitting in the few moments after we consume a mana potion. more with feeling. If that had fallen on Fishron... Actually, I don't know if the stars can even damage enemies in this, uh... in this seed. Oh, I shouldn't have double jumped. Why did I double jump? Jeez, that was close. I don't actually want him throwing out his bubble that high up. I want to pull him further back down. Otherwise we might fall on a tornado. Yeah, this is better. Swap direction right before he bubbles. Why did I double jump? Okay, there we go. I'll probably swap direction the moment he bubbles, to be honest. No, that's going to have him firing his bubble in the air. So, I actually want to... Ow! I actually want to count his dashes and swap direction before he bubbles. I think it's three. One, two, three from here. Perfect. Oh, that's so unlucky. Okay, okay. That's just disgusting. Uh, Je Jedes, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, that's why it's so important to control when he throws out his homing bubble, because otherwise you're going to just run into stuff like those tornadoes before you can see them. Um, Alright, we're going to be needing good time zone to you, indeed, Horst. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, Bob Meister, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, also. Let's get some light. Some free light. Uh, so I want to go back to the, uh, mushroom biome that's high up enough that we can get truffle worms.
I'm actually surprised it really isn't any more difficult uh, to beat to... Oh, hello. Uh, it really isn't any extra difficult to beat Duke on this seed. I mean, a random falling star could fall on your head. That's about it. Um, but if you're waiting... If you're waiting until you get to space to turn around uh, against Duke, you're going to be in trouble with or without a uh, instant death went to space thing. Okay, I might throw... Well, I was going to say I might throw out a uh, water candle to spawn the worms faster, but things could get out of hand. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, we do have a... that's a mushroom. Mushroom torch. Uh, let's see, we want a table. And we want a water candle. Increasing the spawn rate of monsters, but that includes what we're looking for, which is a truffle worm. I'll definitely pick up a few more truffle worms before we go back. Make it worth the travel. Okay. Those don't actually hit that hard. Um, but I definitely don't want to be below them. Okay! Something spawned underneath me. That's cool, how as soon as the ground isn't on the screen, stuff can spawn literally underneath your feet. Uh, and I don't even have a portal to get back. Larius, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, if I was going to do the water candle, I really shouldn't have moved around the way I did. Because of the way enemies spawn. I feel for you. It's not that bad. It's not like we're playing hardcore. I noticed the rain and thought I should be doing a fishing quest as well, but oh well. How did this get here? I haven't made a graveyard biome yet, so... Should maybe think about that. Alright, we gotta get up here before enemies fall on our heads. There we go. I actually saw the truffle worm spawn up here and fall onto the surface before. Maybe we should just hang around here. If we're far enough back, enemies keep spawning just off screen. Kind of boring though. Let's just turn off the... Water candle. If we cover more ground, we can get the truffle worms to spawn more often. A 
few months ago, me and some friends played Terraria for the first, uh, for real for the first time. Getting Fisher on was quite the challenge. The movement was just so new to us and we had no rhythm at all. Yeah, it, ah, oh, I missed a truffle worm. Uh, it's not just, like, it's not just skill beating fish run at all. You have to absolutely get his pattern down pat. It's completely arbitrary. Otherwise, you will just keep running into his sharknadoes from off screen. Also, the final part, um, where he starts charging at you constantly, uh, it's extremely knowledge-based. Uh, if you dodge that by reaction, you are going to get yourself killed. Just like when the Eye of Cthulhu starts dashing a lot, uh, if you use like a Shield of Cthulhu to dash and avoid one charge, you're going to get hit by the next one. Um, but in the final phase, he starts charging you once, twice, and then thrice. That's the pattern over and over again. And there's a bit of a gap between the one, the two, and the three. Where you've got plenty of time to reposition. That's basically all there is to it. Why couldn't I switch weapons? Oh right, I forgot. It's actually like the worst thing in Terraria. When you try to switch from one weapon to the other while firing both of them. Could we get a regen here since we're going to spend so much time? in this place. I could make... I don't have a bottle handy. Otherwise I could make a star lantern as well. skeleton. And it bounced in such a way that we fell on its head. Lovely. How many have we got? Oh, we've already got three truffles. Let's get one more before we go. Oh my! Okay. I was watching this one, and then out of the corner of my eye I saw that this one had somehow managed to shoot when I thought it couldn't. And by the time I realized, it was too late. Uh, I really hate those things. Let's just do fish run again. Much less aggravating. <laughs> than the way enemies spawn like two centimeters away and stuff. Two centimeters off the screen anyway. Should use the ice rod here. I can't be bothered pulling it out. Are we missing a potion? Grab flipper hunter health damage movement light 
We're down to two magic power potions. Should probably fix that. And to be honest, the mana regen potions uh, don't actually accomplish anything. Unless we have time to wait for mana to regen. Because it doesn't work at all while you are firing. That guy did over 200 damage, yeah. I mean, we, we are in glass cannon gear, but even so. I see you. It disappeared. Gotta keep shooting the air in case its projectile was on the way. Okay, here we go again. And buff. And go. I think he'll um, somewhat rubber band to catch up with us. So if I fall away faster, it'll bring him further down to do his next bubble. Yeah, it looks like it. This was a mistake. Could have been a lot worse. him up a bit higher and stop. Oh, I thought that might happen. Oh, the terrain. Okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say I think we have control, but then there was a tornado in the way. Luckily, it didn't cost as much. Slightly bad timing there, but the dash did prevent damage. The dash attack, that is. Let me fall. It is still spawning enemies, but literally, like, just occasionally one. Big circle. Ended up doing a figure eight instead. I need him to be a bit closer to me when I... when I jump up from the water, actually, I think. Oh, I can't fall fast enough. Yes, I can. And that is a giant worm. Not a fan of that. Alright, so far so good. Mostly. Where's my buff? That's gonna hit. Didn't do that much damage though. Might not even be worth heal potion. Okay, that's worth a heal potion.
decent recovery. That's going to be nasty. Down we go. We know where the tornado is for next time. We want to take like a little while to get back there. And same goes for that spot right there. Okay. I thought I could do a big arc and I timed it exactly wrong. I don't know how he keeps track of where he is. Uh, timing and the depth meter for the most part. It's not much different from fighting him normally. It's just that there's no... There's no visual cue from the sky as to how far into the air we are. Alright. Let's avoid any corrupting enemies. Oh, you sneaky sneaks. Oh my god. How the... Are you kidding me? I was literally hiding in the corner to prevent that from happening. Oh, oh come on. That's... That's upsetting. I get that, but it doesn't look like a circle to me. It looks like craziness. Yeah, it kind of is craziness. Oh, I, I literally just, you know, moved over here, shot backward away from me in all directions. I think it must have spawned, like, after I had been sweeping the area to make sure I could see the enemies. That was disgusting. Alright, let's try this again. Aha! And I think he's disappeared. Are we good? I think we're good. And go. Okay. That doesn't matter too much, actually. That tornado might. And that enemy would have been bad. It was in a slightly different position. Very difficult to get around. Okay, he needs to die. Oh my god. Jeez. Is this a jo- I'm done. I'm- I'm out. That- That was the icing on the cake. Just a perfect, absolute- 110,000% accuracy shot by a falling star. 
A falling star, yes. Normally you have a chance to react to it. Uh... I think I'm going to take a little break there. Aimbot confirmed, right? If you're up in space, they can spawn relatively close to you, but even even so, that was, like, on the exact path that I could not deviate from getting away from Fishron. RNG's Jesus not on our side there, right? Ah, <sighs> Maybe I should fight something easier, like Moon Lord. All right, I think we're going to have a little break there. Uh, let's throw up some words on stream in the meantime. I knew it was a possibility, but I never thought it would actually happen. Such a perfect shot from the falling star. All right, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
What's with these difficult words on stream levels? I think that's the toughest level 1 and 2 I've seen back to back literally ever. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Um, I don't want to shift gear from uh, getting wrecked by Duke Fish Run over and over, especially after that last bit of RNG. Um, we could do Queen Slime. Uh, that would actually give me a slightly better mount. And the first wings that we've had in the game, actually. Except the way I normally fight Queen Slime requires a lot of space. And uh, we don't have a lot of space in the Hallow. At all. Not even a little bit. Oh, what the? What the? What? No. That's just rude. Um, let's put the truffle worm away for now. Yeah, I honestly really don't know how I'm going to fight Queen Slime. With, like, this kind of area. Hmm. What else could we go after? Um, hard mode dungeon without killing any mech bosses or plantera or anything is just the dungeon, right? Doesn't actually make any difference. Subhan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Come to think of it, we haven't had a single mech boss threatened to show up yet. Or the pirate invasion. Uh, which is good, because the pirate invasion would just be a complete nightmare. Not sure what I would do about the pirate invasion, to be honest. Um... I wonder if we could get... Oh, let me see how much hard mode metal I've got. Let's see... We still only have 27 titanium ore? After we got all those titanium crates? Bruh. What a tease. Also... Gravestones should go... here. Actually, why don't we go ahead and remind ourselves what it is we hold onto these gravestone markers for. Um, up here should be fine. I think five makes a graveyard bugger. And... It's crimson seeds. We're able to make a crimson biome. As far as I can remember, that's like the one reason to bother making a graveyard biome. If you want the opposite evil biome uh, in your world. Is that moth because of the graveyard biome, though? That ghost probably is. Ow. That thing has a lot of hit points. I don't think it shoots at us, though. Get out of here. We could go for wings. That would be difficult, but not impossible. In theory. So we've, we've already got a million feathers, right? Yeah, 110. Uh, if we... 
if we go somewhere, uh, it's going to be really dangerous no matter what. I think I'll take a calming potion. Or ten. Uh, invisibility potions also. I might even just use all the buffs. Same as if I was doing a boss fight. And we're going to head up. I forgot I had these teleporters, actually. I'm going to head up to the surface. Um, and we actually need to go high enough. To spawn some... It's really hard to tell how high I am. It doesn't even show my character on the map now. Okay, but luckily we've got... Oh, here we go. That's one way to do it. Uh, but yeah, we've got the display showing how high we're going. Uh, looks like, yeah, a little bit more than a thousand is death. But since we can actually tell how high up we are, it's not anywhere near as dangerous as it was before. Uh, but yeah, I want to find a wyvern. So we can get ourselves some wings. No, don't die, don't die. Not like this. And he's going to hit us. Okay. Okay. Nice timing. That's cool. We're actually fine. Got a lot of hit points though. Pretty easy to deal with with a grab potion. Oh crap. Bad timing. There we go. Give me your soul. Fantastic. We just need one more of those, I think. we go. Near the Sky Lake is probably a good idea. Since we can just stand upside down over here without worrying about falling into space. Here we go. Actually, this is an excellent spot to fight him. Ow. Okay, not as good as I thought. Oh, I can't fall fast enough. Okay, okay. He's actually so much less scary than Duke Fisheron, though. There we go. Give me your soul. Fantastic. Uh, that's 21 souls of flight, which is all we need to make some kind of wings. Uh, it's a lot easier when you pop all of your boss fight potions. And when you have a depth meter. So... We can, in fact, make... Oh no, we need a giant harpy feather? Uh, pixie dust. We can do pixie dust. Or we could make demon wings or angel wings. Okay, cool. Never mind. This is what I was thinking of. We need 15 souls of light or 15 souls of night. To get our first wings. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we've got both. I think I'll go for the demon wings because they look cool. I think we need a mithril anvil or oracalcum, which we've got. Uh, we need feathers. And there it is. Don't think we'll be needing that balloon anymore.
probably. Let's just put that away somewhere in case we, for some reason, want to make bundle of balloons still. Hmm. I definitely do prefer having the double jump. Especially because it instantly sets our upward velocity to maximum. So we actually sort of keep some flight time because of that. It's not always ideal, but... But then I'd be sacrificing damage. The double jump is not actually helpful with Duke Fisher on anyway. Alright, let's put our stuff away. Quick, quickie stacky. And... Why don't I make some bottles? I'm going to use one of them to make a bottled soul of flight. And the rest can be bottled water. Fantastic. I don't have a contaminator, so I really can't easily make a hallowed area up top. I mean, I could do something really cheesy like this with uh, hellstone blocks. You know what? That's not the worst idea. Um, I believe I've got quite a few pearlstone blocks laying around. 350? That's a lot. That's just a lot. Okay, okay, this is getting out of hand quickly. Um, maybe instead of getting rid of this... If I put a bunch of pearlstone here, can we make it count as hallow? We're already getting crystals. Nice. Crystal shards on the surface feels kinds of uh, kind of weird. So I don't remember exactly how many tiles it takes to make this count as a hallowed biome, but I'm pretty sure we could just make a platform up here in order to make that happen. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Oh well, good welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. I definitely heard that falling star, like, off to the right. I'm not sure why it ended up right next to us. So we're just going to keep adding Pearlstone until we hear the music change. And then hopefully we should be able to summon Queen Slime.
That's look at all these things. Hmm, how about a sentry? Okay. The souls of light only drop underground? Uh, that's fine. I'm only trying to make a... I'm only trying to make a hallowed biome up here so that I can summon queen slime out in the open. In fact... I think despite the music, I'll just try it. Because we're not hearing corruption music. Uh, boot fighter? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, where are we going? Back to the ocean. Whoops. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I had wings. That's nice. Alright. Can we summon Queen Slime? We cannot. Okay, okay. I heard that star coming, I was ready to dodge it, and the the audio cues are just not telling us where they where they're gonna be. I, I don't know why. Uh gimme back that pearl stone. Gonna add another layer or two to it. Alright, pearl stone, let's go. Good job, imps. Nothing. I wonder if we'll have to be underground to make it spawn. Kind of like how we couldn't turn this into jungle biome, actually. As far as the, uh... As far as the selling of wings was concerned. Well, if we start to see, um... Hallowed enemies spawning, that'll be encouraging. I think we might be a bit too close to the ground here, that's got lots of uh, corrupt seeds. Yeah, I don't think this is working. Ah, jeez. Okay, alright, that seems fair. Just 357 damage out of nowhere with absolutely zero warning. I'm surprised it doesn't one-shot us, to be honest. Or maybe it wasn't still in its flying mode when it touched us. Yeah, I think this is just high enough above the ground that it's easy to change the biome, but this maybe just won't work that way. Um... I can try getting rid of the grass. That's going to be so difficult. don't want to go to the jungle. I'm surprised we haven't had a single mech boss threaten to attack us. 
Let's see if we can summon one. What would be easiest? Probably the twins. And then we could get the better magic missile, which would be nice. Uh, how do we even summon the twins? Iron plus... Souls of Light and some lenses. I'm glad I took the demon wings, otherwise we wouldn't have enough souls. Mechanical eye for twins, indeed. And do we need an anvil? Yes, we do. There we go. Uh, I'm sure we won't need to kill the twins more than three times. Probably. Still got all of our buff potions. Um, we won't be needing those. Well, the calming definitely doesn't hurt. Invis won't help at all. All three together. The get fixed boy seed for a mix of the bosses. Yeah, I saw that. It's kind of crazy. Alright, let's... Probably... go? Dawn's Potion might not be the worst idea. We can actually take more than two hits against these bosses. Uh, and some of them have... Little minions. Not the twins, though. Let's turn this off. And I'm thinking... Oh, I should really just go to the ocean. Maybe not this ocean, though. Actually, that ocean is less bad. Okay, that was close already. Okay, 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 wasn't quite ready. I see how it is. Where are they? No, I think Crystal Storm is the way to go, even though it's sometimes harder to hit. We definitely want Spaz down first, if possible. Well, no, it's not if possible. We definitely need Spaz to go down first. We don't want to be dealing with that uh, shooty eye at maximum level while dealing with Spaz. Okay, I think laser laser rifle is better this time. They hit like flea bites compared to Duke. Ow, that doesn't. You can't get past them when they do this. Just bide your time. Let me down. Just in time. Was at least 13 shots. Oh, tickles. It's better if we don't change if we don't have to change direction too often, so we should probably just keep going left. Oh yeah, we have to avoid getting too far from them, or they just give up. The 
crystal storm is better here. Oh, let me fall. There we go. There we go. This is really bad. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. I think we have control again. Should have just not been so greedy with my damage. My buff potion ran out at the worst possible time. I am burning to death. We stop at 34 life. Okay. Got to really try to play it safe for a while now. Please pop. Please pop. Please pop. There you go. Alright. Now we calm down for a minute. Should probably make sure I don't lose track of him. Probably should have done this ages ago, to be honest. We're good now. Hard part's over. I can't remember if I'm upside down or not. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Ouch, 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 ouch. More important, not to hit top and die instantly. Take a few shots, that's fine. crashed into a sky island that I didn't even know was there before. I'd love if that one had our wings that we never found. Just realized I didn't have any light. It's getting much more aggressive chasing us. Die already. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, please. Please join the fight. We're going to run into an island. Oh, crap. That was way too close. Okay. That was more complicated than it needed to be. We got another 14 souls of flight. That's actually quite a bit. All right, we can make a flamethrower and or maybe a magic missile, the best version in vanilla. Let's leave. Yay, indeed. Ah, oh, my eyes are closed because darkness hit me as well. All right, we got our treasure bag. That's the main thing. 24 hallowed bars. We need like 60 of them or something to get the best armor for fighting Duke Fishron. Because it gives us invulnerability approximately once every 30 seconds for one hit. Um, so it's like 12, 24, 36, uh, 54. 
So yeah, we'll almost definitely have to kill a mech boss three times. Where did the steampunker show up? Ooh, Clentaminator? Huh? Do we have to kill all the mech bosses to get the Clentaminator? Do you use the thing that automatically takes the mana potion for you? Yes. Uh, you don't have to, but it's one less thing to have to worry about. You know, like rubbing your tummy and patting your head while dodging all the incoming fire and shooting. Um, but also, you actually do sort of uh, deal a bit more damage because you spend less time in the debuff um, where your magic damage is reduced by up to 20% right after you take a mana potion. So it's not just... Um, it's not just, like, a comfort thing. We have 40 souls of sight. How much do we need for... Uh, it's one of each. No, it's five of each for Avenger emblems, but we're not worried about that yet. Only 15 for the rainbow rod. And the flamethrower... Oh, the flamethrower is actually souls of fright. I forgot. I definitely want to try out True Knight's Edge after seeing what the that other sword was like, since they made melee more interesting. We have our Logic Sensor player above now, hell yes. So we can make some safe exits and entrances for our bases. Uh, we need one of each to make the pickaxe axe. Magical Harp is OP against the Destroyer specifically. That's 15 souls. So we could actually do both of these already. Let's get the rainbow rod. I think I need another unicorn horn. Um, and for the moment I'll just stash all this here. Actually, I'm going to forget and I'm going to be annoyed at myself if I do that. Um... Have a trophy. Let's put the hard mode medals in here. And the souls. Uh, and I think I already have what I need for the harp, though. Is this it? Crafting, harp. Uh, we need eight souls of night. And crystal shards. I think I used all of my souls of night, though. Yeah. Oh, we've, we only need five more. Uh, make sure there's enough crystal shards in there. But that's just to kill one boss uh, really easily. Uh, what I really want right now is the Rainbow Rod. For which... Uh, for which we need one more Unicorn Horn. Just made that and wasn't sure if it was worth. Nice, nice. Unicorns. Now, I'm actually surprised how tanky I was against the twins wearing media armor. Even if we're using a bunch of buffs. You definitely can skip some of the hard mode medals. Or even all of them. An owl. Easier if you can find a unicorn statue. Well, yes, that would be easier. This terrain doesn't lend itself too well to unicorns showing up either. Oh, what about down here? Has it spread? 
Uh, only a little bit. But we we should have a hallowed fishing ground now. There's like a couple of things that we definitely want to fish up from here. I'm scared the moment I put on my fishing gear something bad's going to happen though. Oh, that's actually a really bad uh, fishing pond. This is probably enough, maybe. But let's join them all. Does this... I don't want all the water to pour down there. make ourselves a little catchment area. Seems good. Oh, there's a chest here. Nothing that we're excited about anymore. I really love that the loot goes straight to the void bag now, though. some bombs here. Because they're not going to get rid of the tree. Oh, yes they do. Did that change? fishing power from this? Uh, looks like the answer is yes. Why is this so flat up here? Looks like I dug it out myself. Ow, 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 nope. Okay, I noticed I can't actually switch uh, loadouts while I'm firing either. Interesting. Learned that one the relatively easy way. Now if we could just get some unicorns to show up. What if I were to... Make sure we had some ground just off screen over here so that unicorns could spawn. Can you get a collection magnet that hovers, hoovers up drops near you? Uh, yes, but you have to pay an accessory slot for it. So I have it in uh, the vanity slot so I can just quickly switch it on. is light. I think a unicorn would get stuck here if it spawned up here. More bombs. Okay. Give me that. So, if something were to spawn here, it should find its way over when I'm fishing just fine. Gastropods coming from the sky is kind of spooky, though. And how about a 
This is actually not hallowed yet, but we'll do something similar over this side. Okay, so that should be a little bit more like what it's usually like on the surface. Where you hang around somewhere like here, minions spawn just off, enemies spawn just off screen, and they don't have any trouble approaching. I literally just need one unicorn horn, though. We've literally seen one entire unicorn this playthrough. Maybe also try placing water candles, yeah. It could get out of hand relatively easily though. Then again, it wasn't difficult to hold position there. This is where we found our last unicorn. Don't have a water candle handy. Also, creating underground crimson somewhere would be a good way to get, uh, a good way to get Souls of Night relatively safely. Where would I put it so that it doesn't spread in the wrong direction? I don't really think we have a whole lot of options there. I could do something like this with Crimtain blocks. Uh, sorry, not Crimtain blocks. Um, Crimstone? Princess fish, that's... No, it's, uh... Oh, here's our unicorn. It's not princess fish, it's the, uh... Two unicorns, even. We just tripled our unicorn horns. Uh, it's not princess fish, it's... Prismatic fish or something. It's the reason that you go fishing in the hallow. Alright. We have uh, crystal shards. Uh, Soul of Light. I think I was not. I, I memorized the other recipe, not this one. We need unicorn horn. Uh, this is not the one we're making, but I could take a peek at that as well. A few twins might be nicer than imps at this point. One black lens, two lens, 12 hallowed bars though. Uh, rainbow rod, 10 pixie dust, 8 soul of light, 15 sight, 2 unicorn horn, and some crystals. Soul of 
Soul of Light. Um, was that everything? Not even. Oh, there's the unicorn horns. Fantastic. So this, I imagine... This can actually hit three times, not like the Flame Lash. And it doesn't crash into the ground if you're holding onto it. Which I expect it's going to auto-attack the same way the other magic missiles do now. Which means this is actually a massive, massive upgrade. We've got 5.4 plat still as well. So we can definitely max this out. Mystic? is not quite it. We're looking for mythical. Or hopefully not masterful is the best one because I just went past it. I think it might be. Max damage isn't the worst idea. Mystic? Uh, considering I just went through, like, half my gold, maybe I'll stick with that for the moment. I think I saw there was a traveling merchant. Where is he? Did I see there was a traveling merchant? I did. Where be the traveling merchant? Uh, snow biome. I haven't looked. There we go. And still no DPS meter. Extendo grip might be new. I don't think it is. Uh, I mean, I think it is. And it is. Give to me the extendo grip. And let's try out... Well, actually, before I do, I'd like to get the... Uh, the Twins Summon. What else do I need for it? Twelve Hallowed Bars, 20 Souls of Sight. There we go. 21 summon damage, that's an improvement. At least if it hits as often. Let's get this upgraded. Ruthless, please. Demonic. Uh, no. Ruthless. Ruthless. Mystic? No. Ruthless. Ruthless? 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 This is actually costing a lot. Just, just one Ruthless. Pretty please. One time. There it is. 26 summon damage. And we have little mini twins. Uh, but first... Oh, I know where it would be good to test this. In the most dangerous place we can think of. That was actually incredibly powerful. Actually, out in the open is not quite where I want to test it, but I'm still seeing what I want to see. We can just hold down the cursor on top of the enemy, and unlike... Uh, with the auto attack... Um, unlike with Flame Lash, it doesn't waste any shots. 
when it crashes into the ground. Which is a very nice underground, especially. It's also some good AoE. And good at suppressing a single enemy. And you can just throw it out as a homing missile as well. If you so desire. Yeah, we're actually keeping the enemy at bay pretty easily here. Between the new summons and the new spell. Mage go burr. Uh, I guess it's not going to be difficult to get souls anymore. Souls of Night. Oh, I didn't see you there. It also kills the projectiles from the Corruptors. Oh. Let's not die this way. Let's pick up the loot and get going. Oh, that was one of those giant worms that just got clapped. Cool. Uh, that's pretty effective. I don't think it would be higher DPS against something like Fishron than the Crystal Storm. Uh, not that it needs to be. Uh, and we need the Harp. For that we need to kill the Twins again. I'm up for that. Also, I didn't really sample just how good these minions are right now, compared to our imps we had. I think they're going to be better at suppression in general, which is the main thing I want minions for. Okay. Twins take two. Why don't I try the new spell against them? It's so close. It's very uncomfortable. I wish I could, I really wish I had a DPS meter right now. The fact that I don't have to aim is a pretty big help but I don't think it's doing better overall. if we can help it. Fantastic. Don't run into the island. Don't 
Don't run into the ground. Oh crap, fall, 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 fall. There we go. Crystal Storm's still best when we can make it all hit. over. Hello harpies. Oops. Uh, can I move? Can I please get away? No? Okay. 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 No mana. I'm actually out of mana potions. Okay, that's bad. And I didn't see space coming because there were too many things to think about. 1216 is the depth of space. That's uh, that's what we absolutely have to avoid. But you have to, you have to stop going up way before that because low gravity kicks in. What a waste. I can't believe I actually ran out of mana potions. That's just silly. What a stupid way. Uh, what a stupid way to lose that fight. Give me every mana potion, please. Alright, let's get our minions back. If I'd had... Oh, I should have used the uh, Sergeant United Shield to try and finish it. I was going to say, if I'd had a gun, um, I definitely would have switched to that. Come to think of it, we still don't have the Clockwork Assault Rifle. Um, which would have been perfect there. Let's try picking a fight with the Wall of Flesh, if we're lucky enough to have a demon show up. Uh, a voodoo demon, that is. Voodoo Demon. It's just a slime. Wall of Flesh looks like my cats when they wake up hungry in the morning. Wow. Okay. Considering these minions can sometimes kill something before it even gets on screen, that's not bad. Oh, right, I, re I forgot there's these extra nasty demons. They can actually clap us really quickly. This is such a good spell. I'm surprised how long it's taking the demons to show up with a water candle, though.
Increased months to spawn rate, allegedly. I can go this far and still have the water candle effect. I hear a demon. That is not the kind of demon we're looking for. That is also not the kind of demon we're looking for. having trouble believing how long it's taking to find one voodoo demon. Is it because you got stuck over here? It's always red devils. Another one? Bruh. Come on now. What is all this? Oh, fallen stars. From the potion, uh, from the Pots that I never opened. My brain, brain tra translated pots into potions. Good job, brain. Alright, if we don't get a voodoo doll in another minute, I'm out of here. Good job, demon. Alright, we should have way more than enough deeps uh, to kill the wall of flesh. So let's get to it. I think this is actually slower than using the bee gun, but I don't have the hive pack on me right now. I don't know how effective this will be. Yeah, it's still pretty good without the giant bees. Forget to get through here quickly. Oh, I've got less time than I thought. We're still fine. Yeah, who needs a hive pack? 
this is all still basically pre-hard mode. I had a pair of stinger necklaces and pretty much everything else doesn't matter in terms of what you could or couldn't get before hard mode. Alright, a clockwork assault rifle is in this bag. A thousand percent. Glad I held on to the B gun for no reason. <laughs> Have a peek. Treasure bag wall of flesh. And it actually is. Fantastic. Alright, so if we do some stupid thing like run out of mana potions again, uh, we'll have a gun to fall back on. Also, my inventory is full of. Ooh. Let's upgrade our armor, um, our cross necklace, in case we ever do bother to use that. And well, it's definitely a good item to use against the destroyer. Um, but yeah, let's quick stack our inventory. Clean out our void bag. Uh, as good as the bees were against the wall of flesh, I think I'll put my clockwork assault rifle here. Powerful. Plus 18% damage? Oh, it's minus speed. That's a new prefix, possibly. Demonic, that'll do. 18% damage, 5% crit, no penalties. Definitely hold on to the water candle. And that goes in here. Oh, I didn't see which... We've only got two summoning. That's what I completely forgot. Jeez. We've killed the Wall of Flesh twice. And where the hell is it in my inventory, by the way? Uh, we got two summoner emblems so far and no other class emblems. But I can't see where my summoner emblem went. Wait. I think I just answered the question. I think we got a third summoner emblem because I think the reason it's not in my inventory is because it quick stacked. I hope I'm wrong. I really do. Um, this is full of crap. I don't think we need four of the bees kneeses. Don't need a single sticky bomb. Princess fish can go in here. Why did I sort that? I had my own system, but I messed it up. Okay, so where am I keeping summoner emblems? Here, here they are. Yep. We've got three summoner emblems. Three for three. Something I definitely should have had fighting Duke Fishron is 15% increased magic damage. Um, I probably would have gotten him to the final stage once or twice um, tonight if I had done that first. Zayla, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 
Uh, but yeah, for now, I guess... Let's do the twins again, since we've got the uh, mechanical eye ready to go. And... Up we go. I can't hit him. Do not fall into space this time, although it was kind of understandable how I did last time. to dodge through. Okay, sometimes it is. Don't go too high. That was close, actually. May not have looked that close, but in terms of the actual acceleration, that was actually a problem. has awoken. This is good actually. Let me through. There we go. That was close. Uh-oh. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. That actually, that little bump actually worked in our favor. Perfect. Good terrain. And the hard part's over. This time we're not going to run out of mana to mess it up. Ow. We might run out of health to mess it up. If we can't get out of here, there we go. Let's concentrate on movement, who cares about mana efficiency? Oh no, he disappeared. Oh, what a waste. I got slightly too far away and the boss threw a tanty and left. That stings when we were on the victory lap. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> it's not just the time and mana potions we put in, but the materials to make the... to make the summoning item as well. We got a pirate map. Not that I want to use it just yet. Um, DPS is really important to be able to beat the pirates, but being able to take a hit or two helps as well. We do have a blindfold. I think that's new. Oh, blindfold goes with armor polish, doesn't it? That thing that I stupidly sold. Okay then. Let's put the summoning item here. And... We still don't have the souls to make the harp now.
Whatever. I think we'll... We'll do the Eater of... Uh, the Wall of Flesh again. Although, if I'm gonna do that... Let's fuck it. Uh, let's go all in on the bees again. Give me back that bee gun. And where on earth did I put... The hive pack? Maybe I should start using the second loadout. I just don't feel like going to the trouble of making a whole other set, though. Um, where did I put the hive pack? I didn't sell it, did I? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me I actually sold my last hive pack. Good morning, Kandar Jr. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, it's it's not impossible. Well, you know what? We killed the wall of flesh really easily without it. It's probably fine. Probably fine. Probably because we had double stinger necklace. I'm gonna go ahead and move this water candle. Because I want... I want demons spawning where they're not getting stuck all the time. I should make a little cubby house to hide from the uh, really, really powerful shots while I sit here waiting for the right type of demon to spawn. I know that today is not a Factorio day, but can I get on Discord an updated version of the uh, Octocrafter? It's turning me crazy. The bots are back and forward delivering things to a requester chest that then unloads into an active provider. Uh, sure. Although, I can actually tell you the solution to that problem off the top of my head. Um, basically, if you take the contents... So this is a requester chest that requests the contents of the big... Uh, big buffer chest minus what's supposed to be there, right? Uh, if you take the contents of the buffer chest that the belts push it to and multiply that by, like, negative a million and send that to the same signal for set requests for that, uh, the, like, the same wire or the same... As, as long as it gets to that chest. Big negative number for items that you don't want set requests on that requester chest. Uh, set it so that anything that is currently in that active provider chest, you're not going to request it to the buffer chests. And that should sort it out. Demons are taking their sweet time spawning. Oh, is that a calming potion? That is a calming potion <laughs> from the boss fight that I didn't even realize I was carrying. Okay, then. That's the wrong type of demon. Uh, 
I do wish they'd make it a bit easier to farm the Wall of Flesh. Because there's... There's like, what, one, two, three... Uh, not the... I wouldn't count the Breaker Blade. Definitely the Laser Rifle, Clockwork Assault Rifle. Uh, you can only get one of each of those per drop. And you need one of each class type, arguably. Or maybe you're just looking for one specific class type. Uh, for the emblems that drop. Oh, actually, you do need multiple emblems anyway, because you want to combine them later on. Um, consider considering all the stuff that you need from the Wall of Flesh, you'd think it wouldn't be this hard to get some voodoo dolls. Maybe this spot would be better. It's just going to keep raining possessed armors here. Jungle Creepers. Not a fan of that. Can we get a Voodoo Demon? One time. Actually, several times. Several hundred Voodoo Demons. Just spawn them on the screen right now. I guess on the plus side we can farm jungle enemies here. Ray. I actually don't understand what's going on with the voodoo demon spawn rate. Maybe the v demon town paradoxically is not... Here we go. There's two of them. I get the spikiest RNG in this game. It's always long periods of nothing and then ridiculous streamer loot. Alright, let's head back to our starting point for the Wall of Flesh. And rip guide. And just hold down the button. Move around in such a way as to not be hit by a whole lot of lasers. Already one quarter down. Let's get ahead of it and not get stuck over here. Oh, almost. It's not even moving that fast. 
I could have sworn the Wall of Flesh gets faster than this. Okay, now it's getting a bit faster. And I took a bit more damage than I expected at the end. But even so. Uh, Le Lepa, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why am I still holding onto the old Flame Lash? Uh, let's see. Void Bag. Flame Lash. Put all of this away. We even have a spare... Well, we're not going to get all the emblems we want from one drop. We did finally get a Sorcerer emblem, though. Hello there. Uh, Z Zonkso? Zong Zonzo? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, we do have a 21%, no, sorry, 27% magic damage increase, not counting the 4% crit that we don't have anymore. Uh, the rest is defense, actually. Oh, this is damage. Yeah, no wonder I was able to take a few more hits than I expected. Um, but yeah, plus 15% uh, damage from an accessory is nothing to scoff at. Now we got to figure out what we're going to swap out for it. How are you doing? Not too bad. Thanks for asking. Uh, I think it's going to be the Charm of Myths that's going to get thrown. Uh, there's going to be a bench warmer. Because we basically only need the Charm of Myths if we mess up. And more damage means we have more time. Uh, we don't have to go as long without mistakes. Plus 19% magic damage. Let's go 54 becomes 61. 82 becomes 90. Very nice. All right, let's do, I guess, the twins again. And... It was iron, lens, and what? Iron, lens, and there's no guide to tell me. Let's fish. Caught in caverns. Guide voodoo a doll. Uh, does this count as caverns? I think so. Kind of ironic that that's the... Wait. Demons of the Underworld. Yeah, it is caverns. So, like... I don't think we're going to get the fish we're looking for here. Preparing for hard mode right now. Isolating the corrupt biomes is not too fun. Yeah, it takes a bit of work. I think it's like six tiles is minimum uh, to be safe that they won't spread. I was going to put the aglet in... Let's say here. We don't need this many sailfish boots. Um, oh yeah, it actually tells us the um, the biome now. Because we got the depth meter. So this is caverns. Okay, cool. That's why we're able to catch... Uh... Endurance Potion Fish. I was going to call them Stonefish. Armored Cave Fish, that's it. I still have to make a mob farm and create NPC villages in the right places. Having a good tra uh, travel network is definitely a help, to say the least. It just occurred to me that you can't get the usual problem with fast travel in Terraria because 
you don't really lose the sense of scale of the map just because you can teleport around it, because of the 2D side on nature of it. I'm glad we're getting armored cave fish, but could we get the guide back and or finish this fishing quest instead? Perfect timer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can anyone recall how we summon uh, the twins? It was iron bar, as in any iron bar, lenses, mithril anvil. Is mud a corruptible block? No, it is not. However, it will get dried into dirt. A glowing mushroom biome will block the corruption, but... Uh, the jungle won't. The jung it'll eat the jungle. Oh, when did we get this uh, bait? There's our bonefish, finally. And let's put this stuff away. Open these. What's this? Salmon. Makes sashimi. I can't believe they nerfed seafood dinner so much. At least there's still bacon. Which we're almost we've almost run out of, by the way. Okay, Endurance Potion, the guide has arrived, uh, and now I don't have what I need because I quick stacked it to ask him how to summon the twins. Oh, it's Souls of Light. That's more expensive than I thought it was. We've got only nine souls of light right now. So we can do one twin summon. What a waste. That the last set of twins ran away. Well, the last half a twin. Half a twin? The last twin, I guess. May main. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, won't be needing this. And I guess we're ready to do the twins one more time. Running out of grab potions, but I think we've got everything we need to casually make more at this point. I flew higher than I meant to there, but it's still pretty safe. Now. 
Let's cross. Oh, I can't cross right now. Here we go. Can't move fast enough here. Oh no, there we go, that was close. I should keep my distance a bit more until we're down to the last one. Oh god, oh no. Oh no, I can't get out, I can't get... Why did that tree have to be exactly there? Like, if I had bumped into it at almost any other angle, I wouldn't have been trapped in this tiny little clove here. If I'd had a rod of discord, that wouldn't have been a problem. Uh, I don't think we've even seen a place where we could look for a rod of discord yet, either. I haven't killed a single chaos elemental. It really was just a problem of terrain that time. And now we have to farm souls for the privilege of trying again. Cool. That's a bunny. Uh, down here is probably the best place. Maybe do some fishing while we're at it. to me your soul. I think we need seven just for one boss attempt. Pixie banner seems good with this spot. Oh, 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 that's a... that's a big mimic. It's about time we saw one of those. It's in a good spot to fight, too. in a very good spot to fight. Hardly ever even gets above us. Okay, alright. Good job, frickin' assist enemy. Gastropod blocking my dash. This could still go very badly. Why do I keep... There we go. Almost there. Oh, that gastropod, though. We got an illuminant hook, really. That's, um... That's a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. I do like the illuminant hook, but, like... It's not the first thing I want from... An elite mimic. Okay. Uh, I was gonna fish while we wait for souls to show up. Minions can handle the pixies since we have the banner. I need some bait. Also, I was gonna put the rifle there.
Bait goes here. Finally got our first Prismite. Um, I probably should have farmed these up before, since they give us 20% more health. That might have made the difference a couple of times in those boss fights. I've actually been really lazy with... I wouldn't even say I've been lazy preparing for some of these things. I've actually forgotten some of the options I have. This is a nice unicorn trap, though. How many souls of light do we have right now? Oh, two. That's not enough. I want to get at least five Prismite before we go. This area really doesn't seem to have a very high throughput for enemies. If I give it a um, water candle, though, we might just end up with seven gastropods trying to snipe us at the same time. That's a soul. This is actually a really good place to get uh, unicorns now. Is that a mimic? It is not a mimic. That is a big hallowed... Okay. Big hallowed mimic. Uh, I'm just going to use an auto-fire weapon, because that's much easier to use under pressure. Pay attention to the other little minions this time. The only thing I have to be careful of with this is it doesn't turtle up and rebound the shots at us. I might end up getting the Daedalus Stormbow and not worrying about the harp. Then again, we don't actually have a range set. Really nothing compares DPS-wise that you can get early hard mode to the media armor. Did we just get another Illuminate hook? We did. That is rude. Uh, we've got five souls though, so there's that. I think it's possible to fish up souls, but that doesn't happen very often. You get them in uh, hallowed crates. There's another soul. One more soul, one more prisonite, and we're out of here. And 
Oh, that's actually an armored cave fish, but that's good too. There's our prismate. And there's our souls. Nice. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Fantastic. Okay. So... This might... Only has one function, that is Life Force Potion. We already got six, that's actually not very good RNG. It's supposed to be 33%. It's 33% chance to not consume potion ingredients, but I think it can roll for like the bottled water plus the prismite plus whatever else separately. Jellyfish necklace combines with diving gear, that's not going to happen. Doesn't actually do anything for us swimming wise directly. Okay. Sell, sell. Uh, how about we open these crates? Nothing too exciting by the look of it. And we don't need a second illuminate hook. I don't think we need this many spares. So we'll leave the magma stone in here. Make some endurance potions. And violet husk. Where am I stashing the... the dye ingredients? It's fine, whatever. Put the thorns potions back in here, I think. Uh, may as well do the wall of flesh since we've got the voodoo. We've got a guide ready, right? Yes. Tougher than the wall of flesh. Oh. Alright, let's get ahead of it and not get stuck at that one dangerous spot. Lasers. All right, let's stay ahead of it this time. Easy enough. 
Actually, we got kind of low on health at the end there. I could have been more careful. Alright, what do we get this time? A fourth summoner emblem? Cool, cool. I'd be pretty mad right now if that was number five. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's swap back the Clockwork Assault Rifle. And... Uh, I think we can just sell the spare. It's not like there's a reason to have two. Unless I want to try and reroll better, but like... I'm not going to go all in on Ranger until later on. Uh, let's put the bee gun in the safe. And once more... This is actually kind of embarrassing how many times we've had to fight the twins, considering I beat them the first time. I was gonna just kill them three times. Uh, I think we did kill them twice, right? I was going to kill them three times th for the loot. No, I think it was just once. Alright, Soul of Light. Mechanical Eye. Quick Stack. And let's be a bit more careful this time. There's actually way more sky on the left side of the map without... Uh, floating islands to crash into. So I'm thinking I'll start there. Oh, we're too high. We're definitely too high. right now. I want to go left. Goblin army? Oh, don't keep going up, don't keep going up, don't keep going up, don't keep going up. That is a sky island that I didn't know was here as well. Cool. It's actually really high up. Too high, we're actually way too high. That was really dangerous. Normally, shooting into space at full speed is actually just mostly advantageous, depending on the boss. Keeps you hard to hit, hard to catch up with. Done. Dash, 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 dash. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, okay, okay. We took a little flame to the face, it's fine. There we go. Now we just have to not get so far away, which is not very far at all. Uh, that old Rhett decides to despawn.
And now it would be rather difficult to get far enough away that he'd despawn. But I don't think we have to worry there. Alright. Where's our loot? Here it is. So that should hopefully be the last time we need to kill the twins. What is this? Oh, 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 oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about hard mode, uh... I forgot about the, uh, goblin sorcerers. The one dangerous goblin in hard mode that can drop the very, very good early hard mode shadow knife. My screen is full of everything right now. Oh, it's Goblin Summoner, isn't it? Regardless, they are the one threat. But you should be able to deal with them straight away in hard mode. It's actually lucky if you get attacked by the Goblin army immediately. That you're actually rewarded for tracking the target as well with the new magic missile. Is that what I think it is? No, it's not. It is just a shadow flame bow, which isn't bad or anything. one threat and I keep getting bitten by insects. There we go. Shadow Flame Hextol, that's like the worst possible drop. So I don't think we got what we were looking for from him. Uh, Shadow Flame Bow's not bad though, I think. A DPS has certainly outgrown it already, though. Harvey UK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why not build a space roof from one of the high islands? I did think of that, um, but it's actually incredibly dangerous trying to do that. Uh, also, it would sort of go against the no arena's philosophy. Uh, but also, it would be very difficult and dangerous. Because it's so easy to get bumped into the sky. Especially when we were less uh, powerful. Sell this crap. What's this? Goblin Warrior Banner. Get out of here. Uh, I guess I could hold on to the Obsidian Rose. And who should we moiter next? We've got 36 hallowed bars, not quite enough for a set. I'm surprised we're still on 27 titanium ore. Like, it took relatively little to get that, 
we need 30 to make the better furnace. Uh, and we've opened a lot more titanium crates. But it just hasn't happened. Uh, let's see, we've got... Oh, 42 souls of sight. I've only done one type of um, mech boss so far. I'll just double check. We got the rainbow rod. We were going to make the magical harp, and we did make the optic staff. Uh, the rest can wait. Magical harp. Eight souls of night. Fifteen sight. Crystal shards and harp. Uh, we do have the souls. We have the harp. We have the crystal shards. And we have the magical harp. The cruel slime? <laughs> Slacken the cruel slime. Okay. Okay, buddy. Uh, but yeah, this spell is actually crazy good against the destroyer specifically. Um, and other very situationally OP spots. It pierces everything, does lots of damage, uh, has a high rate of fire. Um, but the shots move... Oh, and it bounces, but the shots move very, very slowly. Also, it costs practically zero mana. Mythical? Seems good. Uses three mana for 80 magic damage. Yeah, okay. I've never actually been using the shield. I'm going to put it away. And why was I still carrying flipper potions? Probably because I just forgot. Uh, so next we want to summon the Destroyer. I think we need Souls of Light and Night. Uh, which means we don't need as many of either. We need iron or lead, and we need whatever thing it is. Rotten chunk? Yeah, here we go. Mechanical worm. Uh, and we can actually make a mechanical skull while we're at it. Why not? Alright, let's check our buff potions. Uh, we definitely want thorns. We'll be taking a lot of little hits. Hunter potions... Uh, I don't think... I don't think we're gonna bother with the grab potion. This time, because the whole point is to... Uh, I guess it couldn't hurt. But the whole point is to get in front of the worm. Put a bunch of uh, musical notes in its path and then get out of the way at the last possible moment. Heart Breach is actually really, really good, because the little bots will die and drop hearts. Uh, knockback isn't going to do a single thing. Featherfall might not be the worst idea. Because sometimes you want to stay in the sky just above where it's going to go. And I think think that's about it. We're actually getting low on Night Owl. Well, not getting. This was our last one. Uh, speed. We've got a few regens. Shine potions. Iron skin. Uh, and the rest is fine, I guess. Okay. I think that's about everything. So without further ado...
destroyer. Let's go. Yeah, the Featherfall is actually a really good idea because you want to set stay a bit above it some t uh, a lot of the time. Should definitely be taking more time out to kill the ads. Whoops. Where is he? Oh, here he comes. Would you stop? Thank you. It's gonna charge at me. I'm gonna be in an awkward spot. Especially because of that bump. Oh my god. Okay. This is how it ends, is it? Okay. Okay. Heart reach for the win. Let me fall. No, not into his face. Okay. We're out of here. Uh, he actually changed course at just the worst possible moment. I forgot. That doesn't end the fight with the Destroyer. He only leaves at morning, and I don't know if that counts. Uh, it's 6.07pm anyway. But that's fine. We're just going to keep our buffs, sit here and regen, and then go back to the portal exit. Uh, and fight him fresh when he's half dead. Seems good. Let's do it before he kills all of our NPCs this time, though. I have to stay on top of the enemies over here while we're at it. I definitely want to leave those health pickups on the ground. I want to be able to pick those up when we need them. Okay, so I want the destroyer to charge straight at my face with a whole lot of uh, musical notes pointed at him. If I can just pull it off without being distracted here. Here he comes. There we go. And always stop to kill the ads. Oh, I'm getting bounced. Oh, come on. I think the uh, Featherfall potion is not necessarily that good, actually. Uh, I'm getting juggled. Let me out. Give me those hearts. This is pretty effective too. I'm just not being that greedy with the damage. Alright, here we go. Ow. Okay, where am I going to go? Up. I need to find those hearts. No, not like this. Oh my god. I just can't find the right moment to get around his lasers to get to where the hearts are. And then he's like charging and blocking me off at just the right moment. The Featherfall Potion is absolutely a bust. Um, that was not helping. I know I can hold down to fall faster, but, like, it still gets me juggled in ways that I wouldn't normally be. 
He's down to 10k health. Back we go. Pick up all this lovely health that's lying on the ground just waiting for us that we couldn't get to. Probably open terrain wasn't the best choice either. You don't want a bunch of terrain that's going to block you, but at the same time, some cover is handy. And there goes half his health. Half of his remaining health. I can't move. Oh my god, that was too close. Uh, hold up, I got rid of the Featherfall Potion. Why am I falling like this? I think it's just the gravity is lower up here or something. It doesn't feel normal. Or am I imagining it? Anyway, that's the destroyer down. Uh, there's only one thing I can think of that I specifically want the destroyer for. And that is the... Mega Shark. Other than the... Mechanical minecart. Oh, ow, 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 ow. If we could get a moment's peace to collect all this stuff, that'd be great. I think that's the first pickup of vitamins we've had, though. Alright. Open sesame. Uh, hallowed bars, souls of might. Let's see, Soul of Might, we need four, apart from the things that require all three souls. Light Disc, I don't really use those. Mega Shark, uh, it really is just Mega Shark. I don't know if I even have five Shark Fins though. I have zero Shark Fins. That's unfortunate. Uh, we've got 65 hallowed bars though, which means we can make a considerably less damage heavy but much safer armor set. Let's see. Hallowed headgear? Uh, I need some room in my inventory first. Dark mummy banner. Won't be needing that. Hallowed plate mail, hallowed greens, and hallowed headgear. So I think we're going to lose some damage here. 21% uh, magic damage versus 12 plus 7. But we get 12 crit as well. Correction, we get 19 crit. Uh, that probably adds up to more DPS on average, but slightly less reliable damage. It's actually barely a downgrade for guaranteed damage. Uh, but more importantly, uh, pretty much every 30 seconds we get immunity to the next hit. 
We also get way more, a, a way bigger mana pool, which means we'll be chugging those mana potions less often, uh, which means we'll be doing damage more often. Um, I guess I'll put the media set over here. And since Duke Fish Run kills us in three or four hits, that's that one uh, hit of invulnerability is actually just huge. It's bosses like that. Now then, Mechanical Skull should be a lot easier. Uh, not Mechanical Skull, but Skeleton Prime. Oh, it is a material. It has no effect in this world. I think that's the one where you need a very specific seed. Um... Alright, Skeleton Prime, I think, would make perfect sense to fight up there, though. Maybe the other ocean would have been better, just to have fewer enemies spawning all over the place. This is only 600 height. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Um, we're effectively closer to space on this seed. Can I can I move? Oh no, I am using a feather fall. Okay, never mind. My bad. Oh my god! Stop. Oh, I don't have double jump with the mount because I don't have double jump in general. Whoops. Uh, okay, I really need to start using this grab potion that I've popped. Get away from all those little enemies. Please let me move. At least it looks like he's not going to despawn if we get too far away. I can't. Uh, I'm too high up. Let's fall. No! Are you kidding me? He really bounced me into space with the flick from across the screen. With the wrist. Uh, let's put away these stupid featherfall potions that keep screwing me over. Tyrannosaurus wrecked? You're not wrong. And now I have to pay for the privilege to fight him again. Um, I think three souls might be enough of each. I could be completely mistaken there. It's probably like five each. I really shouldn't have fought him over, over there. I can't believe how many enemies kept spawning while I was still fighting a boss. I, like, I thought... I thought as soon as I summoned the boss, there wouldn't be new spawns over here. Uh, let's see. Mechanical Skull, three and three. Thirty Bone and five Iron Bars. Also, we don't need this harp anymore. It's literally got one use. What should we carry instead? I don't know. Uh, Mega Shark would be nice, but I would just put it there. Up, be gone. Should probably upgrade this. It stays good for a long time. 
P2P game? What? Let's give it Unreal. Unreal? 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 Unreal. Unreal. Not unplus. There we go. Now you get it. Uh, yeah, not having a jump, uh, not having a double jump is actually really screwing me over with, like, the movement that I'm used to. Especially when I want to go high with the mount. So, I think I will pick that up again. Uh, the shark tooth necklace... I probably shouldn't be using even one shark tooth necklace at this point. It's not doing all that much. It does give us a regen when we're damaged. Pay to play, it was a poor attempt. Oh right, pay to play, yeah. Damn it, I threw the souls back in. Uh, let's see, iron and bone. I thought the bone and iron was in the same chest, that's why. Okay. Once more with feeling. This time on the east coast. Where we won't have to deal with half as many spawns. He said before almost crashing into a wraith. Oh, I really should have used the flipper potion if I was going to do that. Free hit. Now we've gotten into a groove. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. We're fine. It's fine. Down we go. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, 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 okay. All his little handsies are about to die. Another free hit. Don't go too high. Fantastic. I think his hands are about, are gonna die about the same time he does, though. Yeah, I don't need another grab potion. Fine. There we go. Pretty easy when you're not swamped by 700 extra enemies.
because they're all down here. I almost forgot to be afraid of the stars. Alright, let's pick up these souls and get out of here. It's actually so much easier to get souls of night than light right now. Uh, Benxpuv, thank you for the follow. Nusri Imperium, thank you for the follow also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't think that's our first megaphone, um, but I don't remember what it goes with. Okay, we can make the best minecart. Let's do that. I remember where I put the other parts. What? Minecart upgrade kit. Permanently grants boosted speed and a defensive probe for minecarts. So you get to add the effects of the old mechanical minecart to whichever minecart you prefer. Is is that it? The demonic hellcart doesn't actually do anything. Um since we've got the seven seconds immunity to lava anyway. Um, how about steampunk minecart? Is there a minecart that like digs through terrain as well? Mole cart? Hello, Stardust Nebula. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I can't remember. If the steampunk minecart does anything special. Ow. I feel a significant movement boost compared to the last set of armor. Oh, uh, steampunk minecart. No, I think it just looks neat. It's fine. What? What? I thought... Wh what? This is just the old mechanical cart. Why did the item look like it was going to buff an existing one? You post mechs? We are now. Just finished the last one, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. It's just, just gave us a mechanical cart. Whatever. You can have these back. Do you have to craft it together? It, they're not like materials or anything. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we've got Souls of Fright, which means we could make a flamethrower if we like. Um, where's the guide? I'm not really feeling ranged right this second, though. Although the flamethrower is incredibly good against worm-type enemies and so on. I could get the, uh, the Crystal Assassin set. It's hybrid ranged and mage but like we lose out the, the hallowed armor is just too good the the one free hit that doesn't do any damage uh like every 30 seconds that you can take it's just it's too strong uh, especially like the harder the difficulty you're playing on the more true this is until you get to like the final set of armor in the game this is good Um, but yeah, Souls of Fright, other than Naughty Presence, uh, there's really nothing that's unique to Souls of Fright to get excited about. 
It's just that we've got all three now. We could make True Knight's Edge. I think. Knight's Edge. Where did I put it? Literally just add souls. Let's see what we get. Oh, wow. Uh, that seems strong. And that was at negative 16% speed. Do you have any tips for Master Skeletron? I haven't fought him yet. Um, basically just switch to focus firing his skull when he does the chargey spinny thing. Because the rest of the time you can't deal much damage to him, so just attack his uh, limbs instead. Or the way I was doing it was just to spam Rainbow Rod uh, while I was flying away from him, and I'd switch to the Crystal Storm whenever it was his skull that I wanted to focus on. Luftwaffe, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You consumed it. It's a buff on your character. Like a life crystal. Oh. So, do I have that kind of speed with just any minecart now? Is that how that works? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. And is it going to zap things with the default minecart? We're going to have to find an enemy in front of us to find out. another gelatin crystal. They seem to be a lot more common. That's another one over there. I think they might be a lot more common now. Here we go. Oh, there's a zombie up there. God damn it. Where's an enemy when you need one? Honestly. Um, how about this? I should really get myself a rod of discord. Maybe it's not incredibly difficult to get one now as well. If we get to the desert and don't find an enemy in front of us, in short order, I'll be very surprised. Almost there. No? Nobody home? N no one at all? Have you done any of the shimmer upgrades? I have not. What are shimmer upgrades? It doesn't seem like the... Uh, like the minecart is zapping things. God, at this rate, I'm going to have to spawn some enemies. We do have some spawners over here. Oh, here we go. It does. It seems to be a lot weaker 
and less aggressive than it used to be. The the pro blazers. Or maybe it's they have to be in front. Okay. So now whichever minecart we put in is just aesthetic. Or I guess it can also have a bonus like uh, lava immunity, but I can't think of many other good ones. How long until we upgrade True Knight's Edge? True Excalibur, Broken Hero Sword. Broken Hero Sword is from the Halloween event. Or oh, rather the uh, spooky... The Solar Eclipse, that's it. What else do we want to make from Hallowed Bars? Pickaxe? Um... Oh, that's actually a summon weapon, I forgot. Excalibur. It's only 12. Let's get this first. And put the big swords together. Also, we don't need this crappy pickaxe anymore. Oh, wait. I'm going to have to have the axe of regrowth before the pickaxe. I want that to work. Uh, let me just scroll up real quick. There's a new sub biome called the Ether, and there's a huge list of upgrades you can get. But for instance, if you get, uh, if you drop a life crystal in it, you get an item that Permanently boosts life regen. Damn. And downgrades? So it's like side grades, like, uh, like in Darkest Dungeon or something? Very interesting. I still haven't, uh, re-rolled these demon wings, actually. Ahmed. We can stick with that until we get something better. Uh, now that we are significantly tougher... Is there a magic spell I can pick up before doing this? Crystal Storm is actually pretty hard to beat for a long time. When it's all hitting. Well, I know we can do it with Crystal Storm. I've done it with Media Armor. Uh, and now we can take a free hit every once in a while. It shouldn't be anywhere near as difficult this time. Let's make sure we've got all the relevant buffs. Uh, don't want to run out of Grav Potion. Featherfall is a no. We do need Flipper Potion in case we dip into the water. Heart Reach won't do anything. Thorns really isn't going to add up to much. Uh, unless we lose by like 10 hit points or something, we didn't need Thorns. Uh, I think that's about everything. You can turn platinum into gold, gold into tungsten. That's cool. I like that. Alright. Where's our minions? Let's just get rid of the uh, unwanted ads. Why can't... I oh, look at that. This is as far as I can go with the uh, manual control of of the rainbow rod if I'm on the edge of the map. This is where the edge of the screen would normally be. Interest.
Okay. Let's get our stuff ready. So to find the eater, you got to dig down near the ocean. On the side of the jungle to find the eater. Only real side grades are like titanium to adamantite since both armors have advantages and disadvantages. Yeah, some of the, uh... Like, what's that one that spawns spinny things? I'm not as excited about that, especially not for boss fights. Alright, let's, uh... Prepare ourselves. We are exquisitely stuffed for another six minutes. Let's go. And over and fall and fall some more and left and up and wait till he's about to shoot and over and down we go and concentrate this time. Oh, that's bad. That's not as bad as I thought him back to the other corner before he shoots. That's terrible. Luckily I could deflect a hit with the dash. Oh, I'm still at full health. That's the power of this armor. Ow, ow, ow. Shouldn't have double jumped. I shouldn't have double jumped. I shouldn't have double jumped. It's fine. gonna shoot. Shouldn't have jumped. Uh, why couldn't I dash again? Need to fall faster. There we go. That was an awkward tornado. Almost halfway there. And he's going to shoot again. And up we go. Went up a little too soon, I suspect. That's okay. As long as we don't run into the tornado. If I'd known that tornado was about to appear, I definitely wouldn't have jumped. Did zero damage because this armor is OP. But I really should have been prepared there. I didn't mean to swap directions that many times. Okay, this is how it it uh. That wasn't even just like a bad dodge at the end or anything, it was poor planning. I couldn't have done anything in the last three seconds. Maybe I could have dodged into his face uh, to eat the impact with the Shield of Cthulhu, but then he would have just hit me again. I wasn't as high up as I thought. The low gravity really doesn't help. Uh, and that's the end of our truffle worms again. I can't believe how much trouble I'm having with this, even if I haven't practiced lately. Well, when I did get it down pat the first time, 
I used invulnerability in journey mode and just like danced with him for a few minutes and then I switched it off and I actually beat him the first try. Having the opportunity to practice the moves without having to stop every few minutes because you died uh, certainly helps a lot. So does a health boost pot only give 80 health instead of 100? Uh, yeah, if our if our max life is 400, plus 20% is 80. If, if we get it to 500, which I guess we probably can now, is it post mech bosses that the life fruit starts showing up? Um, regardless... Uh, 400 plus 20%, 480. I feel like playing another class for a while. Do we have... Not enough Hallowed Bars. Hmm. really feel like playing with True Knight's Edge, to be honest. Excalibur looks very cool. What have we killed? We've killed the mech bosses. I haven't fought the Queen Slime because uh, this is like the best space we have to fight her in. And I couldn't get her to spawn up here. Three Knight's Edge can be kind of broken if you play it right. I'm sure it can. What would normally be next? Plantera? I definitely don't want to do Plantera. The last time... It's been a long time since I fought Plantera without... Duke Fisher on weapons. I don't want to do it. Especially since we're doing the arena-less meme. Uh, I'm not going to blow out a huge hole to fight Plantera in, which actually makes it incredibly easy. Um, like, I've fought Plantera on the surface. Uh, it's difficult to get her there before she catches you, but if you can, it's actually easier than stuck in the jungle somewhere. Because the main thing is you've run out of room. And we need to we need to stumble into some natural, very large open areas to fight Plantera. Um, the only place I've seen sharks is actually in the jungle. I'll, I'll look for some... I think I should always use hunter potions if possible. Uh, I'll look for some... Whatchamacallisms. Life fruit. Oh, can we mine this yet? We can. Okay. Uh, let's get that Chlorophyte Ore. If I'm gonna do Ranger, I wanna have Homing Bullets. Although, the DPS isn't that great. Uh, I like to, I like to switch to Bow when I want to do Deliberate Aim. That's our first Life Fruit already. Fantastic. Uh, I actually want a Spelunker potion, so we can see the life fruit like that. Two down, 18 to go. That reminds me, dropping life fruit into the Shimmer will give you a permanent plus four defense boost. So where is this shimmer? Like, how are you supposed to find it? 
Ow, ow, ow. What even hit me? I actually have no idea. Give me an Uzi. Even though I'm close to getting a Mega Shark now. Uzi? That's not an Uzi. Forsooth. Uh, I'm not going to pop those while I'm here. I forgot just how insanely dangerous open areas are in the jungle. There's another life fruit. Let's get some light. Oh, that feels nice. The digging speed. Let's get a mining potion active as well. Oh, we've got a lot of them. And I should start some chlorophyte farms. It's actually incredible how quickly and how much chlorophyte can grow if it's away from the jungle. If it's away from other chlorophyte, to be clear. You'll know you found it when the background goes all black and sparkly. Black and sparkly. What a combination. Did you stop? Okay. Oh! Are you kidding me? How did another turtle get in there in such short order? Bruh. And, and wait a sec, how much health did I have? I just got clapped by a single hit from a giant tortoise, but I survived a hit from it when I was wearing media armor. What? Why is the jungle so broken? Damage calculations so goofy, right? Like, I wasn't low on health, was I? Well, low, you know what I mean. And this gives me way more defense than the media armor. I don't get it. Did the damage calculations change after I beat mech bosses? Uh, I should, oh god. I don't want to pop hunter potions because it's such a pain getting uh, shark fins. Oh, this is the corruption again. We got to do my minions as well. And I forgot to do my buffs. Well, let's get a little exploring done before we pull it back. That'll have to do. It's like a 15% room for damage. You mean random damage rolls. Uh, this is not mud, so we can't just plant fight here. I do have mud. Let's grab it. Oh, wait, before I forget. Okay, mud is over here somewhere. And I think, given the shape of this place, I'm just going to do it like this. And I'll do that every screen or two.
Although I can't quite reach as far as I would like. I know there's a tool. There's extendo grip, but I don't want to go picking that up every time I come to harvest my chlorophyte. Maybe I could make it longer. Might not be the worst idea. It's something like 30 chlorophyte that'll grow together before it slows down to zero. I think. Regardless, there's no harm in giving it more room to grow. I hate the visual effect from the hallowed armor, where you've got, like, seeing triple whenever you're able to take a hit for free. It kind of makes me feel like I'm experiencing double vision or something. Like my eyes must be tired. Loco Croco. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. And Stardust Nebula, thank you for the follow. Oh, is uh is this gonna be different post mech bosses? Let's have a look. And Chlorophyte can go in with the hard mode metals and stuff. Soul Cell. Uh, spare Nature's Gift is fine too. Eternia Crystals. Do you sell anything new? You do. Okay, so he's finally selling the tier 2 stuff. It, only, it actually only costs 15 medals. I've only got 10 though. So let's head over this way. Enjoying the stream? Thank you. Uh, I'll put the hunter potions away for now. I don't have room to put the life force away. Whatever, this is fine. If anyone doesn't know what this is, I mean, anyone who knows what the Torch God is can probably guess. Uh, but if you put 101 torches in one place, uh, it's the torches start shooting at you. And if you survive, you get a reward. Um, I set this thing up to literally AFK it. Because why not? Okay, Crystal Go Burr. Uh, I was going to say I forgot to get a new sentry, but I couldn't quite afford it yet. I need the Shadow Beam stuff. I think it pierces infinitely. It's like a better laser rifle. Isn't Shadow Beam stuff post Plantera? I believe it is, yeah. DPS is everything with uh, the Attorney Crystal. Although, not that you want to get hit, but 
You kind of have to mess up pretty badly to get hit until the end. It's only hitting three per laser, right? So we're probably better off with some AoE. Uh, it looks about the same, to be honest. The sentries aren't going to be doing a whole lot. But they will, like, bump enemies and stuff. I've never actually done the Eternia Crystal. Like, I've done it pre-hard mode, and then I've gone back to it post-Plantera. Uh, I've never done it between. I feel like when you pop hard mode, it should get a bit more tough. Without having to kill the mech bosses. Not liking how much it takes to kill the flying things. Oh, this is getting bad. Okay, this might be it. Okay, I think we've got this one. It's gonna take some damage though. The sentries aren't gonna make a whole lot of difference. Probably lose this wave. That's not good. That's... that's very bad, actually. Okay, I think it's over. It is very much over. How's it not dead yet? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have abandoned it. Usually, by the time you start taking a bit of damage like that, it's just, like, a matter of a few seconds. did we get anyway? Zero? Bruh. We can't get medals now. Um, that's not good. And I'm, I'm pretty much, I mean, I don't have menacing on everything, but I'm pretty much built as a glass cannon. I remember being able to do mana storage? Mana storage? Oh, this is already growing. Nice. Okay. Well, it seems like for now we're not capable of getting any more defender medals. Let's put this away. I kind of want a Rod of Discord. Am I going to have to seed my own Hallow high enough up to make that happen? I've seen Hallow that's randomly appeared over here, so maybe if we went further up this way? 
I guess we could try it. I think it's probably going to be like over here where there's still corruption, but there's a few ha uh, pearl stone though. Why don't we go grab our pearl stone that we have stashed over here somewhere? And I kind of want. Well, do I? I was going to say I want this to be like a pure biome, but what for? Also, now that I look at it, it seems like the corruption has found its way down here. Uh, crap. All the more reason to put Hallow there. Let's go. If we have Hallow Floor and Corrupt up top, we'll probably be able to farm both uh, types of souls in the one place. Through we go. How did we miss that? Is this the place? Yeah, it is. Alright, Aziz Light. Speed, regen, iron skin. Uh, stick to the cheat potions, though. I'm actually out of food. That's not good. I've probably got plenty of money to buy more bacon, though. Uh, yep. The corruption has indeed spread. Okay. Let's get some pearlstone spreading hallow over here. Before it gets worse. Oh, hey, Bonesy. What do you got for me? No counterweight? We do have a counterweight. Amazing. And the magic dagger. Who would buy magic dagger? We should be able to come... That's kind of nasty. That's very nasty, actually. Uh, we should be able to come here for... Aeos Elementals pretty soon. Not to mention all things corruption. Oh, I jumped into it. Oh, that's a trap. But I already got rid of the wires. Forgot about that one. Okay. Or Wellstone over here, if you please. Fantastic. Alright. He died? 
buy it? Magic dagger is busted now? Really? Uh, I guess I'll have to take your word for it. Uh, Bonesy shows up pretty often, though, in this area. It's not busted. This is where we finally got our depth meter. I never thought depth meter is strictly necessary for certain boss fights would be something, but... Is, is is this what the is the platinum really what the fairy was showing us at this stage of the game come on fairy don't you know what time it is oh bonesy's here again see easy He's probably not... he is selling magic dagger. So it's only 20 magic damage. It looks about the same as it always was. Uh, extremely cheap, but not very powerful. Seems bad. Don't dig up is the remix world seed. Yes, indeed. Okay. This this seems as weak as it always was. Get out of here, Rune Wizard. I'm already wearing your trophy clothes. Uh, it is going to be a minute before we see Chaos Elementals spawning here. But I'm pretty sure we planted enough Pearl Stone to make it happen. Let's get out of here. What does the remix seed do? Uh, I can't remember what the seed was called. I thought it was Don't Dig Up. Is the, is the seed just remix or something? Uh, well, whatever the case, for this seed, you actually start at the bottom of the world. Um, and you've got typically overground stuff, in, like the forest underground. The surface is just nightmare fuel. Um, it's completely overtaken by corruption. And the corruption enemies are way stronger. Uh, especially at the start of the game, like... Compared to what you would normally expect in the corruption, the uh, the number of Eater of Souls that spawn is just off the charts. Uh, and I think they're bigger and stronger as well. Oh, also, there's, it's perpetually nighttime. Uh, if you touch the top of the map, you just die. Falling stars kill you instantly. Um, you can't really tell how high up in the sky you are without a depth meter. Which, uh, which is fun when you're trying to avoid the top of it. The to code you enter is don't dig up, but the world generation mode is called Remix. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool seed. I'm I'm enjoying it, despite the uh, despite the ridiculously unlucky hit by a falling star while we were fighting Duke Fishron. Where's that yo-yo pouch? Do we need something else? Oh yeah, we need the string, don't we? So silk. Uh, 
we got spider webs in here. We've got a loom over here. White string, there it is. Yo-yo bag. Master yo-yo skills. Amazing. Uh, what should we do next, I wonder? Probably get our max life up. As much as I hate spending time. Okay, where can I get sharks? Uh, shark fins. Apart from the very rare shark spawns that I've seen in the jungle. Do I just have to luck into a shark statue? Let's get a... Oh, the irony of using a hunter potion to look for sharks. Especially because of how rare they are. That is a chest I may not have opened yet. Crystal Storm for blocking turtles. Uh, what do we have here? Another Anklet of the Wind? Another... Oh, that's a Mimic. Show me what you got, Mimic. It actually came at us through the wall. of sparking. Thank good- wait, what? 57 magic damage and it's a material? That's not the wand of sparking that I remembered. That might be a little bit different. It's possible. Uh, let's go find out what this is good for. Wand of Sparking. Oh my god! What? What? Okay. Okay. I think that might be a laser rifle in every way except for, you know, range and responsiveness. Uh, let's see what it upgrades into as well. Uh, ice torches? Wand of... Frosting shoots a little, a little frost. It's a little bit more damage, less crit apparent. Oh, this is agile. Uh, sure. So what was it? Ninety nine ice torches. I mean, those ice torches. In fact, let me get up here. I'm kind of wasting my hunt uh, hunter potion time right now. Uh, let's see. Ice torches, 26. Fantastic. Uh, how many is this? It's not 26. What? Where did my ice torches just go? Oh, I'm place. God damn it. So if I do this, we get more, right? Yeah. Uh, 
that's 60. Eighty, eighty-nine. Cool. Uh, what kind of crafting station do we need? Or can we just do it? There it is. Cool. So I imagine that applies Frostburn. Ooh, we got Mystic right off the bat. That's decent. Uh, let's see. Get rid of the minions. Oh, that's not an enemy. Whoops. Oh, I love the blue light. Oh, it's so easy to look around with this. I don't think we can burn these, though, even if it is Frostburn. Oh, we can! Nice! Alright, can we find a better target? That's a bunny. Uh, I'm wasting my time with the Hunter Potion. Let's go back to the jungle. Try this thing out. Three minutes left. I want to stay near water. And so far as I can. I love the new uh, sparking. Range, uh, the range leaves something to be desired. Hmm. Oh, that was a pretty hard mode enemy. I just got clapped. I don't know, we could use it to apply damage over time, but it doesn't seem to last very long. Pretty sure it stays on in water. It does. Yeah, it's like one second, or less. What's the cost, though? Four mana versus six mana. Uh, it's definitely more mana efficient if all of the shots are hitting than the laser rifle. It depends. It really depends. It's almost like a flamethrower, kind of. It's perfectly good for suppressing turtles. I don't know, the lack of, the lack of knockback, uh, the way it takes a lot longer to get to the target, drops off and has a range limit. It's much nicer than other spells for just lighting the way though, that's for sure. Still waiting for Zenith type weapon for every class? Oh, that'd be nice. Absolutely. Well, I really don't know how we're supposed to get, like, more than two shark fins this entire map. Mr. Swift, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I've seen literally one shark, maybe two. 
Uh, I saw both of those before hard mode in the jungle. And all of the, uh, all of the hunter potions that I've gotten, uh, possibly literally all of them, have been from fishing. It might honestly be the best way to get hunter potions, is just do some crate fishing. Except, it's not hunter potions I'm looking for. I need five, uh... Five shark fins if I'm gonna do... If I'm gonna get a mega shark. Maybe I should just skip the mega shark. Oh, that's nasty. Give me the health. If this was multiplayer, uh, if I was if I was gonna play multiplayer, this would be, I think, a really good weapon to go with other weapons. It fills a different role. But yeah, I think I'll stick with the laser rifle for that slot. I never actually use the sentry most of the time. Use this if I just want light. The laser rifle really is tough to beat for its role for a long time. Alright, I guess we're not finding any... any fins. You can get hunter pots from fishing? Yeah, it's not the pots I'm looking for. I just want five uh, shark fins. I think we've seen two the entire playthrough. Uh, we don't need any more fast clocks. What's in here? Not that much. We don't need any more of these. Uh, that might be our first vitamins. I'm pretty sure we've got, like, this is our third megaphone or so. And I killed, I, I, I stupidly sold our, um, armor polish. Do none of these go together? Let's see, Boza needs bandage, Vi vitamins needs armor polish actually. Blindfold needs the pocket mirror, reflective shades, <laughs> immunity to darkness and petrification. How do we make the pocket mirror? I think, um, I think I remember seeing that as craftable somewhere, I could be wrong. And we do already have a counter curse mod, uh, mantra so I can sell that uh what a mess why is there a clockwork assault rifle in here don't need a second bozar I, I I don't need like four treasure magnets I'm pretty sure You can turn all of these things into their counterparts by tossing them into the shimmer. If only we could find it. Uh, do we have the Clentaminator yet? Is there just no Clentaminator on this seed, or is it post Plantera? Can I send you, like, a list of things that can be changed? Uh, sure. Uh, there's... Hop on the Discord, you can send it to me there. You do not get the Clentaminator in this world. That's nasty. 
That is really nasty. So the way to cleanse this world, if you so desired, would actually be to get the uh, the post Moon Lord drill thingamajig. Where am I putting this soul? There we go. Um, do we even need the hard mode medals? I don't think so. Well, in lieu of anything else, uh, while I think about what else to do, let's go get some truffle worms. And while we wait for this to spread as well, that's probably enough already to start spawning some... Uh, chaos elementals. Oops, where am I going? I don't care about that. Oh my god, I almost died. Didn't think the jellyfish was that strong. Let's get some honey regen. Taking that. I don't suppose Abigail's flower is buffed. Seven summon damage? Probably not. It's a very quiet weapon, this uh, wand of frosting. There's our first truffle worm. Another trifold map. Let's get down here. Uh, let's get some light as well. slows them down. That should be a lot better. You know what, I should dig down here also. We can get a nice circuit going to look for the truffle worms. Um, why can't I switch weapon? Of all the little improvements they made, I really wish they'd made it so that Terraria behaved like other games when it comes to quickly switching weapon. Instead of getting stuck firing one. Okay, up we go. That's not a truffle then. Abigail's flower is pretty good. Someone beat the game with just that summon and whips. It gets stronger with uh, a higher, like, minion count poured into the one summon, right? Technically, it does if you have the auto fire option enabled. Using a weapon that doesn't normally auto fire. Not quite following. I 
think it said it gets a buff after beating Wall of Flesh. Interesting. I think that was, uh, if I, if I recall correctly, that might have been true before, right? We're actually not finding a lot of truffle worms. Couldn't jump in time. Skeleton Archer Banner seems reasonable. Let's put our banners over here. Hello, Tim. Come to think of it, how are we going to get the truffle NPC? Every time I've tried making a biome on the surface uh, for NPCs, it hasn't worked. And why are there still no truffle worms? I found one, I forgot about that one. But still. I guess I could go after Fishron with just one attempt in the pocket. But if I beat him, I want to do him again straight away. Especially if we suddenly have Razor Blade Typhoon. If you have that enabled and you're using a weapon that doesn't otherwise auto fire, then when you try to switch weapon while attacking, it'll automatically switch at the end of the attack instead of getting stuck using the same weapon. Oh, I think I just scared away a uh, truffle worm, but we did get one. Yeah, I've just, you know, I've never had a problem with it with other games. It's just Terraria, whereby you let go of the, like, you, you, you press the number for the other weapon at about the same time as you let go of the attack button for a moment and just start attacking again, and it buffers it up nicely. Just switch switch to that other weapon as quickly as possible. Simplest thing in the world, but no. With Terraria, always getting stuck swinging a pickaxe or something. And it really discourages, like, using multiple weapons and having a more complicated strategy against a boss as well. One more truffle worm since it's taking so long. That was it. It's just a piranha. Come to think of it, I haven't done any fishing quests in a long time. I wish it didn't take 50 or whatever it is, like some ridiculous number of fishing quests to get the cell phone. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. What do you got? Surface and underground. I think this counts. Let's get our bay. Why did I... Why did I sort this? Also, why do I have more pwn hammers? And goat skulls. Alright, fish away. Is there a reason to do the pirates right now? We've got the deeps, and we do have hallowed armor. We can probably handle the pirates. Why not? I'll finish this uh, fishing quest and we'll do the pirates before we finish today. Your best bet of getting the truffle NPC is to convert one of the floating islands. Interesting. Oh. Quest. Shark Teeth Trophy. I think he's given me that before. Yeah, there's one right here. Alright. Uh, I don't care about the goodie bags. I'll keep that. Stack all that other stuff away. We don't need a compass, right? That's built into the GPS. Wait. Does that special new place let us turn a GPS into, like, a fish finder? That would be ridiculously epic. We already have a trifold map, I believe. We do. Don't need this many anklets. Alright, let's just stack things away. One fish should probably go in here. Uh, I guess the flower can go here. Salmon, sashimi, I forgot about food. Let's grab food. Party mode on. Pig granadas, yes. All of them. And... What? Hold up. What's happening? This worked earlier today. It's not like it's been patched. Oh, is it because I'm using a triple... Grappling hook? Uh, okay. Let me go grab a different grappling hook. Diamond gem corn. Back in you go. Oh, I missed. Rip. Rip. Perfect layout. Uh, but yeah, give me that grappling hook. I think I need an anvil. Oh, our chlorophyte always also already looks like that. It didn't just say solar eclipse, did it? No, it's blood moon. I can mostly ignore that. Okay. So, Pigranata goes here. There we go. It deconstructs the GPS back to its components. Interesting. So we're not getting out of 700 million fishing quests just to get the cell phone.
hoping not. Unfortunate. Is there somewhere where I want to be farming enemies? I could, I could go there during the Blood Moon. I said we were going to do the pirates, though. I could just skip the, uh, skip the evening. You can check the list I sent you to see if you can, though. Okay. Spent all of our money We're hoping for ten bacon. There we go. And we got, like, 2.4 plat back as well. Not counting selling the other stuff. Uh, maybe I should leave the diamond hook here. I haven't got a container though. Alright. Sundial. Doop, 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 doop. Oh my goodness. Rude. Uh, let's put the truffle worm away. And grab a few buff potions that are actually relevant this time. Knockback? Sure. Okay, let's do the pirate invasion. Don't forget about what I said. Anyway, got to finish up soon today, though. Uh, bait can go back in the container. This can be sold. We've got plenty of mana potions. I need to re-up some of my buffs. I don't mind burning a life force on the pirates. They can be very flappy. Probably should find something to replace the stinger necklace. I don't think the five, uh, five armor pin is that big of a deal at this point. It was actually possible, it maybe still is, pre-hard mode, uh, to get the tankiest gear you can and just uh, literally sit still and let RPs kill themselves by running into you with the, uh, with the honeycomb stuff. I should probably use the laser rifle, perhaps? Not bad. Oh. A lot of pirates are getting stuck underneath this bridge. But if I go further, it's too far from town. Let's go to the right. Give them a sporting chance. This is also too far from town? What? Where are the pirates? Okay, they're here, but I don't see the... There we go, pirate invasion. Do I just have to keep killing them for that to pop up? I thought it stayed on the screen. If we're close to town. you too. Oh no, 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 no shooty, no shooty. Shooting people isn't very nice. You should definitely stop that right now. Oh, 
Don't forget the pirates can deal insane damage for some reason. Uh, are we not... Are we just never getting Flying Dutchmen on this map? I was wondering how that might work. Uh, maybe they just remove them because they're always just going to be stuck in the ceiling. Oh, we're only 40% of the way through, so... They could show up. Sissy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're at fifty one per cent now. Sure, why not? good. I'm actually pretty impressed by the twins, surprisingly enough. I wonder if they were buffed or not. Or just having two of them without having to worry about rebuffing just has good coverage. Eight percent. I don't think we're going to see a Flying Dutchman. I would be surprised, actually. I haven't seen a Pirate Captain, though, either. Maybe it's just been luck. Oh, there's a Captain. Let's get some distance. I think I despawned him. And here comes the Dutchman. It is exactly as I imagined. I think it's getting stuck in the terrain. Oh, it's very stuck in the terrain. Not to say it couldn't clap us if we're not careful. out for those cannonballs and chill. The pirates it spawns actually gives us banners and stuff. So I could farm it all day if I really wanted to. Ow. That didn't hit anywhere near as hard as I thought it would. almost dead. There we go.
And don't think you're getting away. Not sure how this works. Oh! I got the... I got the magic missile through that corner somehow. Eventually. Alright, cool. Uh, I wonder if we get a coin gun or anything cool. Golden sink, thank goodness. And hoover up the loot over this way. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got the black spot. Uh, that's the first true flying mount for this playthrough. Since we failed so many times to kill fish run. Uh, but it looks like that's about it. No other special rare stuff. Oh well. That's going to wrap it up for today. Let's see who's streaming Terraria. Uh, we've got quite a few people, actually. Give me the dolphin gun. Master mode classic. Community server. Is there anyone doing anything similar? Like the, uh, I think there was a there were two or three weeks there where everyone was doing the, um, what is it? The ultimate seed that combines every other seed. Seems like they've gotten over that. Um, I honestly don't know. I don't see anyone familiar. Doing my drunk seed right now, but I'm not streaming. Fair enough. Uh, how about... Hardcore Zenith Summoner? Seems good. Have a good rest of the day. Thanks for hanging out. I uh, love Kelly. Take care. Good to see you again, by the way. Uh, let's raid this person. Actually, let me just check that it's not like unraidable or can't chat or something. That said, I've never seen them before, so it is a bit of dice roll. What seed is this then? The remix seed? Yeah, it's uh, Don't Dig Up, that's all. General Chaos, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's go say hello to Rukoth, I guess. Uh, in a couple of days, we'll be doing... Uh, we'll be starting a campaign of Long War of the Chosen. Uh, get on the Discord if you want a character named after you for that one. I'll also do a channel point reward for that. It's going to be cheap because there's no guarantee you're going to see the character, especially after the campaign starts. Uh, and after that, we'll be doing Oxygen Not Included, then back to a few days of space exploration. With Crastorio 2. Uh, but for now, let's go check out a hardcore summoner run. Take care, guys. Who's ready for some cooking? <laughs>